Golden State's opening lineup. Curry and Thompson pair up at the one and the two. Green out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Moody in at the small forward position. And for Boston, Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Jalen Brown is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Porzingis in at the five. At this stage of the season, it's not unheard of to see teams lose steam. Doris, how do coaches keep their teams motivated for the second half of the year? B, I think one thing quality NBA coaches do is they emphasize an NBA regular season is a marathon, not a sprint. Whether you are winning or losing, you're always building the foundation of your program. Do you have good defensive habits? Do you share the basketball? Are you committed to winning? Are you about your teammates? So much goes into success. Brown can't hit. Curry from deep three-point land. No luck on that one. And Boston going the other way now. Coming off a win against the Hornets. Sometimes it's... Oh! Dunk contest. Jalen Brown taking flight with that insane athleticism. Here's Thompson. And it's good. Boy. Assisting on the play was Curry. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Pass to Porzingis. Back to Brown. And stolen by Green. Here's Moody. Unable to get that one. Nice D from Tatum. And just over a minute played here to start the game. And here's Horford. Now Porzingis gets the 14-footer to fall. Well, he's got the green light. Porzingis understands. Be ready on the catch. Curry passes to Green. No good there. And Boston going the other way now. Pass to Tatum. Now here's Horford. Here's Porzingis. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Boy, not a bad beginning. Three for four from the floor. Pretty good start. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Curry. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Crafty, confident Curry can score in there now. Make no mistake. And after winning MVP honors in 2015, Steph Curry was even better in 2016, taking home another MVP award going back to back. And that 2016 MVP year for Curry, Grant, one of the best regular seasons ever. Oh, so true, B.A. Think about this. The Warriors winning an NBA record 73 games. Steph shattering the three-pointers made record over 400 for the season. Also leading the league in steals. Steph in 15-16, something else, guys. And he drops the first. When you think about Al Horford, you think about a guy who entered the league with a maturity beyond his years. And now consider, guys, we've been talking about high-level play for over a decade in the NBA. What a career. Horford hits them both. When you think about Al Horford at his best, he is one of the league's most versatile big men. This guy is a very strong passer. He can defend across positions, including switching out on the perimeter, and he can knock down open threes. Now here's Porzingis. His last outing, he had 20. Brown can't hit. Now here's Curry. Thompson finds Curry. From deep three-point range. Rebound Boston. And it may have taken 10 years, but Horford's defense finally got recognized in 2018. Yeah, he made the NBA's all-defensive team that season, B.A. And he may not be a shot-blocking force like some of the great defensive players in this league, but there isn't a weakness to his game on the defensive end. Here's Brown. The shot won't fall. 
Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Yeah, you know, a lot of coaches might let you hear it for taking the three-pointer on the break, but I like the decision there. The D had already collapsed inside. Outside, Brown. Back to Holiday. With the teardrop. Rebounded by Green. The Warriors trailing. Pass to Kaminga. Outside Curry. Over Holiday. Goes back up. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Draymond Green has a knack for understanding where the ball will come off. He's got long arms. Really nice job getting after it on the boards. Now here's Horford. In his last outing with 12 points. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Got his man all tangled up. I mean, serious crossover. Thompson outside. Pass to Moody. Curry with it. Shot is up. Curry with another miss. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Now here's Holiday. Good work there as it goes. Yeah, in the paint, Holiday's agility makes him tough to contain. He just needs a little space to go to work. Pass to Moody. Brown against Thompson. Here's Moody from deep. Another three for Golden State. Uh, Clay Thompson understanding how to read the floor and make the right choice. Yes, he can score it, but good vision there. Outside Holiday. Pass to Horford. Back to Holiday. Three pointer. The Warriors pull it in. They defeated Washington in their last game. Yeah, they connected from outside all game. And the defense had absolutely no answer for it. It's always a good thing when the defense is scrambling. Whenever there was open space on the perimeter, their shooters were able to locate it. Now here's Tatum. A 32-point game for him in the win against the Hornets in Charlotte. Yeah, don't forget how great he was drawing contact and getting himself to the free throw line. Picked up a ton of easy points there. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Here's Moody, averaging around six a game. The ball's knocked loose. Outside Kaminga. The three ball. No luck on that one. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Outside Tatum. Pass to Brown. Let's it go from deep. And it's cleared by Stephen Curry. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Now here's Thompson. He had 19 points in the win against the Wizards in Washington. But Randy, look at the Celtics and their defense. Not a surprise. It's at the heart of this team. No question. I mean, you have three-plus defenders on the perimeter. Their big men can switch on the guards and protect the rim, too. Top to bottom, they can match up well with any team. Free throws good from Thompson. Well, the pure shooting stroke is the first thing you think of with Clay Thompson. But I think as impressive is what he gives you on the defensive end of the floor. Clay Thompson is as hard a worker as there is in the NBA. He's off on the second. For Boston, they've got six of 14 in so far. Outside Tatum. To end the run. It's rebounded by Golden State. Pass to Curry. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Three-pointer. No good on the shot. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Holiday. 
They grab their own miss. Nice D from Thompson. Now the Warriors with it. They're on a 12-4 run. Curry against Brown. Thompson outside. And the Warriors miss again. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. And here's Brown. Really played well against Charlotte in his last game. Boy, when you think about Jalen Brown, you have to be impressed by the progress he has made offensively. He's become one of those guys that you know wants to take it to the next level. And how about Jalen Brown Doris becoming an offensive monster? This guy has become a consistent three-point shooting threat. He can knock down shots from the field. He can go off the bounce. He'll contribute on the backboards. And we know they challenged him to become a better playmaker. And he has. He has become the full package. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. one drops he ties it up boy guys what extraordinary growth from Jalen Brown over the course of his young career tighter handle consistency from deep this guy is serious about his craft and it's paying dividends the Celtics shooting only 35 percent so far in this quarter and it's Tatum missing and he probably thought he was going to bury that one Thompson finds Kaminga Orford pulls it in Horford's got six rebounds in the game. Paul against Holiday. Shoots over Paul. And that one hits the back iron. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Pass to Holiday. Horford with it. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Outside Curry. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. Stephen Curry. One shot. Falls for Curry. You know, if it's possible, it feels like Stephen Curry has taken on even more responsibility over the last few years, but this guy certainly has the shoulders to be able to carry it. It's Brown on the wing. 11 feet out, and he gets the jumper to drop. Brown's got his second basket of the night. The Warriors leading. Thompson outside. Ball against Holiday. Outside Paul. Six to shoot. Over Holiday. That one no good. And Boston going the other way now. Porzingis with it. Hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. Pass to Holiday. And he drives in. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Celtics lead by one. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Two minutes remaining in the to the paint. Two minutes. Green, the pass to Curry. Thompson against Tatum. The three from Curry. Yes, and a nice Stephen assist from Thompson. Curry. Curry's got 14. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Pass to Tatum. They kick it out to Porzingis. Kaminga pulls it in. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. Thompson passes to Green. 
with another three. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Horford. 59 seconds left in the first quarter. It's Brown on the wing. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. He's got nine. Jalen Brown with the immediate answer from three-point territory. Yes, sir. Curry finds Kaminga. Ball with it. Launches it. Knocks down the triple. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Boston trailing. 29 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Horford for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Oh, there's the alley. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Down low. Here's Porzingis. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Well, this guy's got size and showing increasing strength. Kristaps Porzingis, nicely done. The three from Curry. And the Warriors with another three. And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. And so in the game for the Warriors, Curry and Thompson are the wings. Kaminga is out there with Green, and it's Paul in at the one. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. And Boston has possession. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Thompson shot is off. Austin shooting just 37% in the game and keeping us updated from the sideline. Allie LaForce. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. Allie, thanks. Golden State has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. To the inside. Green against Porzingis. Now here's Paul. He's covered closely. Thompson right side. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Assisted. Thompson's got five now. Always ready to rise and fire from anywhere. Thompson's mid-range jumper is pure. Porzingis passes to Tatum. Sinks the tray. His three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. Outside Curry. Tatum against Thompson. Right side green. Pass to Paul. There's the three. Drains it. Now he's three for five. Look at Chris Paul getting aggressive. He's not going to let that three go unanswered. He's too competitive for that. Tatum passes to Holiday. They kick it out to Porzingis. Fires at the elbow. And it's good. Two points. Porzingis. Give him eight points now. Yeah, he has a really nice feel from that spot. And the size gives him a clear advantage. Well, sometimes when you've got size, your release point is so high that you're going to get a good look no matter what. Curry gets the bucket. And you listen to the great defenders. They talk about disrupting the rhythm of a score. 
doors. How do they accomplish that? I think it can occur, Brian, in any number of ways. The first thought you have, obviously, is being physical, obviously within the rules. You can try to deny touches. You can try to deny spots on the floor that players are trying to get to. It can also be psychological. Try to get under the skin of the offensive player you're contending with. Now here's Kaminga. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest of the game. The three from Thompson. They get the rebound. Shot is good by Curry. Curry's got four points now in the quarter. Well, Stephen Curry is not known as an offensive rebounder, but an opportunistic moment right there. And Boston calls time here. <laughs> With the offense reeling, coach has to get these guys on the same page. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Tillman's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Brown. The Warriors also with a sub. Wiggins, he's checked in for Curry. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Puts up the eight-footer. And the play by Tatum as he finishes inside. Tatum's got his third basket of the night. Thompson outside. Wiggins for three. And it's Tillman with a rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Boy, from the moment he entered the league, Jason Tatum has proven to be a knockdown three-point shooter. Huge asset for his team. Now here's Thompson. He's got five. Now Wiggins. From downtown. And it's Tillman with a rebound. Well, he tries to answer with a three of his own and can't do it. You can't get caught up in the one-on-one -on -one aspect. Pass to Holiday. Back to Tillman. Five to shoot. From outside the arc. Rebounded by Green. Green's got five rebounds tonight. The Warriors have gone five of ten in the second quarter. Ball against Porzingis. Out to Thompson. Fires for three. And he's now three for eight after that one. At his absolute best, Clay Thompson rise and fire on the catch. Good night defense. And watching Draymond Green play. Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer. Sees guys get open before they do. Now here's Paul. 13 points in the win against Washington. And he may have posed even more problems with his passing. They had to worry about him as a scorer and a distributor. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Now here's Holiday. A 20-point game for him in the win against Charlotte. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul. First team foul. On defense, the Warriors. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Well, 7'3 doesn't need much of a vertical. Easy finish for KP. Thompson outside. Holiday against Paul. Here's Kuminga. Second chance effort. Here's Green. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, make no mistake, Draymond Green will bully you on the interior if you allow it. You've got to make sure he doesn't force the issue. Draymond Green taking two shots. First free throw is good. 
Well, there's so much you can come to depend on with Draymond Green. Certainly skill in terms of his passing and rebounding and defense. But how about the emotion and leadership as well, guys? And the Warriors making a change here. Looney's checked in. That's good as he hits both shots. Boston's gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's Tillman. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Draymond Green. Second team foul. At the line, Xavier Tillman. At the line for two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Hey, we've heard a lot of coaches say, including Warriors coach Steve Kerr, about load management. If you want to see the Stars play more often, cut the schedule back. Maybe 72 games. Grant, your thoughts? You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, Stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. Now here's Wiggins. In his last outing, eight points for him. Six on the shot clock. Thompson, no good. Boston trailing. The floater. It's rebounded by Golden State. Ball's got four rebounds in the game. Looney passes to Green. Outside Paul. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Shooting for Golden State, Chris Paul. Shooting one. The free throw is off from Paul. Boy, the consistent greatness of Chris Paul. Playmaker, scorer, defender, leader, year after year. Chris Paul silences any doubt about his place in this game. You know, you have to use the bounce pass in that instance to make the catch easier. Pass to Holiday. Shoots over Paul. That's good from Holiday on the assist by White. Well, if you leave someone that wide open, Derek White will put it on time and on target. And here's Wiggins. Let's go with a three. He buries it from three. Wiggins has gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Now here's Holiday. He's got six. Pass to Porzingis. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Porzingis has got seven now in this quarter. The Warriors have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Wiggins for three. Rebound Boston. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Raptors at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. It'll be the start of a three-game trip on the road. Tatum, good. That's a case where the reach of Jason Tatum comes into play. Understanding, let me go hit the offensive glass, and you get rewarded for it. Pass to Thompson. Outside, Green. Over Porzingis. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. How good is Green at drawing solid contact? He plays with a ton of heart. He's really good at making the defense commit. At the line for two.
And the first one at the line is good. And so he hits both. Boston's got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Pass to Tillman. White on the wing. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Thompson's got a sixth rebound on the night. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Here's Paul. Let's it go from 11. Got a piece of it. Holiday against Paul. Here's Tillman. He's averaging about six points per game. And here's Holiday. The shot no good. Green with the defensive effort. Hook loose. Here's Thompson. Good work defensively by White. Boston shooting 53% here in the second quarter. Here's Holiday. That one doesn't drop. The Warriors go the other way with it. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. Back to Thompson. Pass to Green. The three. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got six rebounds now in the game. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Now here's Tatum. He's got 12. And the foul on Chris Paul. That'll be a second foul of the game. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. One fifty-one left in the first half of basketball. Now Jason Tatum has proven that over stretches of a game, he can take over with his scoring ability. Pass to Looney. And here's Thompson for three. Knocks it down from distance. Thompson's got 11. That's his second triple this quarter. I guess he's left that dry spell behind. Outside White. And we've got 118 left to play in the first half. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his third foul so far. Well, now you have to think about pulling him. Three fouls already in this half. A fourth would be inexcusable. And the Celtics making a change here. Richards checked in. We've got 113 left in the second quarter. Outside Curry from the arc. And it's Tillman with a rebound. Tillman's got his fifth rebound in this one. After scoring with ease in the first quarter, he's really cooled down a bunch here. Now here's Tatum. He's got 14. Back to Tillman. And he gets it to go. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. 35 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Fourth personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Number two. Two shots. First one falls for him. Hauser, he's checked in for Boston. And Golden State also making a switch. Moody's checked in. So he gets them both. 
Heating up from the line this quarter, helping their cause for sure. They're right around 80% now. Pass to Tillman. Back to Pritchard. Launches a three. The rebound by Moody. And one of the reasons they're down right now is because they've fallen in love with the jump shot. Left side, Curry. Great D that time from Porzingis. And so it's the Golden State Warriors up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. They've been lights out from deep, and it's a big reason why they have a lead in this one. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He had 21 points, two assists, and two rebounds. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench, providing major contributions, especially at the offensive end. It's taking a lot of pressure off their starters. What a luxury to have a second unit they can produce. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Well, don't get me started with their perimeter deal. They're standing around flat for them, not closing down. The result is way too many open threes, and at halftime, the deficit, that couldn't be a problem. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. You can join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Drew Holiday out there with Xavier Tillman. And it's Porzingis in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the Boston five. Curry against Holiday. Out to the wing. Outside Tatum. It's stolen away. Out on his own on the break. And here's Kaminga for three. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got rebound number eight now. Here's Holiday. The shot misses. Curry with some nice D. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Offensive rebound. Green. And a good Green. offensive board. Green. And he gets the bucket. Green's got 11 points. Well, their first basket in four tries. Can that trigger a little bit of good shooting here? We'll find out. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Boston. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. Here's Porzingis. Plenty of space. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. He's got 15. You get the sense his teammates recognize Kristaps Porzingis is in rhythm. Let's keep feeding him. Here's Moody. Pass to Curry. And the Warriors miss again. In the first half, he was on fire from range, but he hasn't knocked one down since. Sinks it from distance. Well, the confidence of Jason Tatum is evident always. As soon as the ball touches his hands, he is shot ready and lets it go. Thompson finds Curry. Now here's Green, defended by Porzingis. 
Just five to shoot. Green, the pass to Kaminga. And stolen by Porzingis. Here's Brown. Sinks that one from the post. Now just a three-point Warrior lead. Good, solid start to the half. Hitting three out of four. And early in his career, Porzingis was a shot creator. You think he can get back to that, Grant? You know, B.A., yeah. In Dallas, his role was more catch and shoot. So it'll be interesting to see in a different system how active a role KP can fill, especially going to work inside. They are looking really strong offensively. Yeah, just terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. Here's Holiday. Out to Horford. This for the tie! And the foul That's called on Kristaps Porzingis. Porzingis. That'll be foul number five on him. Only foul. their first miss in four attempts. It's been a great start to the half. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter and it stifled him. Cornette checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Golden State has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Here's Curry. And the jumper falls for him. Curry's got 23 points. Yeah, Curry has been such a consistent offensive force in the league. This guy has got everything working right now. Holiday up top. He's covered by Curry. And Holiday powers it home. What a big finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. Boy, as tight as this one is, that's a statement play saying, hey, listen, we're not here to back down from you guys. Here's Green. It's deflected. Holiday against Curry. Comes up empty down low. The Warriors leading. Green finds Curry, who poked away. Thompson outside. Pass to Kaminga. Here's Moody. Left side, Green. Over Horford. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Lays it up and banks it in. And it's now only a one-point Warrior lead. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Here's Moody. Hounded by Tatum. Back to Curry. Outside, Green. The shot from the low post is good. Green's got four points in the quarter. Boy, Draymond Green attacking off the dribble drive. The big man with a tremendous move. Another one falls for Boston. They have no answer defensively inside. And for the Warriors, they're shooting 40% from the field in this one. The three from Thompson. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got three assists in the game. Well, this is his comfort zone. Blake Thompson beyond the arc. Such an easy look right there. Here's Horford. And the shot goes in. Horford's got six. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Pass to Green. Thompson against Brown. And here's Curry. Rebound Boston. Horford's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Here's Brown. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. He's got 13. And from the mid-range area, they've been the more effective team. Now the Celtics on the move. Left side Tatum for the lead. Another one falls for Boston. All right, let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Celtics. You have to be a fan of the energy they played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet, and it's come up big a few times for them. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. What has to excite you about Jason Tatum is how consistently he puts work in to perfecting his craft. 
His idol is Kobe Bryant. He is a guy that wants to continue and will work to get better. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. Ball comes in for Clay Thompson. Brown with the steal on the break. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's on Stephen Curry. Doris Tatum has already accomplished so much early on in his career. Yeah, but you get the sense this guy is nowhere near finished. Jason Tatum is a guy who wants to be seen as an all-time great when his career is said and done. He is someone you can count on to give you everything he's got. And that one falls for Tatum. What I love about Jason Tatum, guys, he's already an all-star. But that desire, that hunger, that thirst to be great remains with this guy, and he continues to improve. Wiggins passes to Paul, and the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his first foul. Sharic checks in for Draymond Green. First team foul. Warriors substitution, Dario Sharic. to Curry to halt the run nails it from three Curry's got five points in the quarter their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters outside Tatum outside Brown clock at six tries it from the top of the key and he's now 6 for 11 after that one. They're playing very well here in the second half. I mean, their shooting percentage is now over 50% from the field. Pass to Wiggins. Outside Kaminga. Now here's Paul from behind the arc. And it's Cornette with a rebound. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Brown against Curry. Back to Brown. Let's the three fly. Offensive rebound. It's Brown on the wing. Over to the left wing. Horford for three. It's hauled in by Sharich. The Warriors trailing. On the wing, Curry. Outside Paul. There's the triple. Rebound Boston. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That one belongs to Wiggins. How about the confidence from this young gun? Jason Tatum's length is tough to deal with inside, guys. Jason Tatum at the line for two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. Hauser, he's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Holiday. That one misses, so he goes one for two. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum is advancement at the defensive end, Grant. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. Here's Brown. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got three assists in the game. The Warriors shooting just 38% for this game so far. Golden State calls timeout. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? And the Celtics making a change here. Pritchard's checked in. Here's Sharich. 
Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. Well, a tremendous call by Chris Paul. Refuses to back off, doesn't waste the look, and gets a foul for his work. Paul taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good from Paul. That one's no good. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Here's Pritchard. He's guarded by Paul. Goes up from the top of the key. Warriors with the rebound. Paul's got a rebound number five here tonight. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Boston has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. And here's Brown for three. Gets the three to fall. Brown's got 11 points in the quarter. Well, to me, that's excellent timing from Jalen Brown. He shoots with confidence, knowing his teammates trust him. Two minutes remaining on the pass to Looney. Two minutes. Outside Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. Hauser grabs the board. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. He's guarded by White. And he lays it up and in. Tremendous individual play. I mean, challenging the heart of that defense. Pass to Hauser. And they call an illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. And the Celtics making a change here. Porzingis has checked in. Here's Paul. And his fifth make of the game in 12 attempts. Just one for five this quarter. But don't expect him to back away from adversity. Pass to Brown. Left side white. Here's Porzingis. White finds Porzingis. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Paul passes to Wiggins. Back to Paul. 36 seconds left in the third. Shot on the wing. The offensive rebound. Looney. And Looney with the slam. B.A., forget about attempting the long-range three to cut into that lead. Just attack the rim, my man. Man, that was sweet. Brown against Wiggins. Outside, Brown. And the three off target. It could go. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for Boston. And that quarter was all about him leading the comeback charge. Now the... And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. On the court for Golden State to start the fourth. Moody is out there with Kaminga. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then it's Green. Three-pointer Holiday. No good that time. And Golden State will come the other way. 
And after this game wraps up, they're off to Cleveland where they'll face the Cavaliers. And that'll mark the end of this five-game road trip. Pass to Green. Here's Moody, defended by Brown. The fadeaway. Moody misses. The Celtics with the lead. Holiday passes to Brown. Here's Hauser. Over Moody. Hauser can't get it to go. You'd like to see more effective ball movement there. Well, there's no doubt there were better options on the floor, but it certainly seemed like he had his mind made up. Pass to Horford. Back to Holiday. Let's it fly. Good. And it's Horford who picks up the assist. Horford's got three assists tonight. Well, this is an example of the court awareness we talk about with Al Horford. This guy's a very willing passer. Here's Green. The shot off that time. Good D by Porzingis. The Celtics have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Outside Holiday. Outside, Brown. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, from long range or from point blank range, Steph Curry is a marksman. Shooting for Golden State, Stephen Curry at the line for two. Shooting two. The first one falls. Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Boston has gone 0 for two from outside here in the fourth quarter. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Stephen Curry. The best offensive players in the league get to the free throw line consistently. This is where you're starting to see growth from Jason Tatum. Wanting the contact, inviting the contact. And that one falls for Tatum. He's forcing the action now. Finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. And so Tatum nails both of them. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Thompson outside. He got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. Cornette's checked in for Chris Stops Porzingis. Play Thompson. Two shots. Shooting two. And he makes it first. Both free throws good from Thompson. The Celtics have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. It's Brown on the wing. 
That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Brown's got 23 points. And guys, increasingly we've seen Jalen Brown willing to shoulder the offensive burden and boy, the ability just blossoming. Curry finds Kaminga. Can't cash it in from close range. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Tatum shot is good. Well, off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his arsenal. Thompson outside. Curry with it. Green for three. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. Holiday against Curry. It's Brown on the wing. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Golden State has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. And the basket by Curry. Well, you have to have innate sense of when to come off and get ready to catch and shoot. Stephen Curry's been doing it a long time. Pass to Brown. That's tip. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. Curry against Holiday. Shot clock at six. Here's Brown. And this is why Draymond is one of the best defenders in the NBA. Constant energy, and it's absolutely infectious. Pass to Moody. Curry against Holiday. Now Curry. The three is up. Knocked away. And they recover it. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. He completely lost focus since the break, turning the ball over multiple times. And that's after no turnovers in the first half. The Celtics have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Tatum. Tight defense on him. Drives to the hoop. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Moody. There is size and there is reach with Jason Tatum, and that makes him a difficult guard. He just dares the defense to foul him right there. At the line for two shots. First free throw is good. And so Tatum nails both of them. The Warriors have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Curry against Holiday. Pass to Thompson. Moody from outside. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. And here's Holiday. Now Tatum. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his ninth assist of the game now. Now, there's some thought that Jason Tatum has actually added a couple of inches to his height since he entered the league. Given that play, I believe it. Pass to Kaminga. Just five on the clock. Here's Moody. The rebound, Celtics. Horford's. Up top, Tatum. Defended by Thompson. And it's Tatum missing. Golden State has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Moody, powered down Moody, after the Moody. assist, led him to the lane. I think unselfish is a word that applies beautifully to Draymond Green. He's so good at sharing the basketball. Pass to Cornette. Horford with it. 
And down it goes. Two points. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. The Warriors shooting only 38% from the floor. Not, time, not, not great. Out. And the Warriors call time here. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum. Man, is he getting it done today. Guys, you have got to find a way to slow this man down. This is a great timeout. Everyone, come on, make some noise. the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Oh, man, what an effort tonight. To put together this type of game against the defending champs, that is impressive. This is why so many people hold him in such high regard. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. It wasn't feel-good pep talk. He wants them to show some fight in the closing moments. He told them, if you guys want to salvage any respect from this game, now's the time to do it. Show them we are better than this. Guys, take it away. As always, Allie, we thank you. Curry, no good. For Boston, they've gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. And Grant, last season, Drew Holiday winning the NBA Teammate of the Year Award for the second time. Yeah, and in 2021, B.A., he got the NBA Sportsmanship Award, too. So needless to say, Holiday tremendously respected by his peers and known for his dedication to others. First one falls for him. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. Holiday hits them both. Now here's Curry. Pass to Thompson. Outside Curry. Shot clock at five. Yes! And a nice assist from Thompson. Curry's got 11 points here in the second half. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. Horford finds Brown. A little mid-range shot is up. That one drops four. Brown's got 25 points in the game. Well, the mid-range is something Jalen Brown entered the NBA with. He looks very comfortable in that spot. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Back to Holiday. That shot is off. Curry with some nice D. Thompson outside. Pass to Kaminga. Green with the ball. It's good. He's 6 for 12 Green. from the floor. Well, Draymond Assist. Green can dole out as much punishment as he receives. And right there goes into the chief of the defense. Left side Tatum. Back to Holiday. Out left to the wing. Here's Horford. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. And he's now got the double-double. I'll tell you, a tough first half puts it in the rear view. The shooting percentage starting to reflect that. Pass to Moody. And here is Thompson, defended by Brown. Thompson against Brown. Here's Curry. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got nine assists now tonight. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. Now here's Tatum. For three. 
Clay Thompson pulls down the board. Thompson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And here's Curry. Tries again. Holiday grabs the miss. The Celtics have gone seven for 15 in the fourth. Outside, Brown. Outside, Holiday. Horford for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Thompson's got rebound number eight now. Kuminga. And he banks in the layup. Assist goes to Clay Thompson. They've got time on their side here, Grant. And if they're smart, they'll milk the clock a little. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Right side, Tatum. It's good. Tatum's got 35 in the game. Okay, Jason Tatum showing a little strength on that play. Pushing through the contact. Gets to his finish. That is pretty. There's a minute 40 left to play in the fourth quarter. Out to Horford. Tatum inside. He shoots again. Oh, it's blocked by Green. Simply so cannot throw up that big stuff around Draymond Green. You'll hear about it. He will relish the opportunity to send it back. The Celtics making a switch here. Bowser's checked in. Golden State has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Curry against Holiday. Outside Curry. Pass to Moody. Outside Kaminga. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And Moody is good for three. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. The drive by Tatum. Can't get it to drop. Golden State has gone three of six from downtown so far on the fourth. Curry against Holiday. Curry passes to Green. And it's good! And now they trail by just four! Of this we know, Draymond Green does not lack for confidence. Big time shot there. A nice shot by Tatum. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality even with the game in total control. This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They're down by seven. 34 seconds left in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? It's going to be tough. They've got to get a quick hoop and then immediately foul. 34 seconds left in the game. Back to Thompson. Pass to Curry. And stolen by Holiday with the drive. And Holiday powers it home. You gotta give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Brown passes to Tatum. So we see the Celtics get the win here. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. We'd like to thank you. All right, let's go. This game will probably be something of a chess match, don't you think, Greg? Both these squads love to run intelligent half-court strategies. Yeah, you can expect to see some interesting playmaking as these squads try to open each other up and create opportunities to score. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Guard pair on the floor, it's Curry and Thompson. Green is out there with Jonathan Kaminga, and it's Moody in at the small forward position. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Curry looking it over. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. That three off the mark. 
And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Remarkable consistency from deep. You can't count on that every game, especially on the road. Yeah, they just pummeled them from the perimeter. Did a nice job working the ball around and getting those high percentage looks. No question, he got bombed up on that shot. First personal foul. Well, RJ, you played First against Draymond foul. Green. Do you agree Judy with him when he calls State. himself the best defender in NBA history? Green. No, of course not. Shots. He's not the best, but he's worked his way near the top. I'll give my guy that. And look, he's a defensive player of the year, and he has been in consideration multiple other years. It's his versatility that gives him such a boost on that other end of the floor. Free throw good green. And Greg, up and down the Celtics roster. So many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. Both free throws good from Green. For so long, the Golden State Warriors were waiting to be back at full strength. But when one guy comes back, it seems like another goes down. The injury bug has been a real challenge for them. Now, here is Holiday coming off a solid outing against Charlotte. Brown, good. He can do a lot with the ball, but Brown is just as good playing off the ball. He's always ready to catch and fire. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to talk earlier with Boston's head coach. He said the big thing is we cannot play hero ball. We've got to be unselfish and trust our offense. We'll see if they can turn the tables around and even up this season series, Kevin. Back to you. We appreciate that, David. Thanks. Yeah, that defense, something to be reckoned with. Greg, we'll see how it plays out. Well, it's important to be patient. The other team's going to take certain things away. Just keep probing, trying to find that weakness. And you have to remember, you're going to have some tough stretches scoring the ball tonight. Just keep a cool head and don't force this. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. It's going to be Horford shooting. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. Injuries, though, are an obstacle the Warriors, RJ, have met head on. Yeah, it's impressive how they've overcome those hurdles, insisting on still playing their best basketball, even when they're shorthanded. And they've had a chance to develop some younger players when the older guys, the established players, were out. Got to use these opportunities because five minutes can go to ten, just like ten minutes can go to zero. Well said. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Curry with the three. The rebound by the Celtics. Oh, for four to start things off. Got a bit of a pillow fight brewing here, but they're going to get it going. Porzingis finds Brown. The Celtics working the ball around now. Horford with it. Kaminga on him. Can't connect from short range. Warriors trailed by six. Here's Moody. Outside for Curry. Fires the three. And he gets it to go. So challenging to guard in pick and rolls. Curry excels at exploiting the defense in these sets. Brown outside. Back to Holiday. Passes it to Brown. Outside Holiday. Shot clock at six. A three from Porzingis. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Three point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. There's the pass to Kaminga over Horford. No good. Shot missing. And the Celtics going the other way now. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And, and really a tough break for the D. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Green against Porzingis. Outside Tatum. Just five to shoot. 
The three. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Four-point game. He dishes it to Kaminga. Good work defensively by Horford. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. Pass to Brown. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. How about the focus from Brown? Only concerned with making that shot. Curry with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to Thompson. There's the three. And Stephen Curry gets the three. You do it better than Curry. The range of his shooting is practically in a league of its own. Passes it to Tatum. Left side, Horford. Brown wide open. He fires. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Brown's got 10 points. This man is on time fire. Time His team is winning. It doesn't get better than that. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Well, we know the players enjoyed the rest they get during All-Star Weekend. But Greg, you think it should be moved to later in the season? I like how the current format splits up the season, but it, it seems more fair to hold an All-Star towards the end of the season so that voters get a more complete look at each player. Here's Kaminga. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And this Celtics squad looking like the Celtics of old. Yeah, always a tough squad when I was playing, and it's looking like that again. You got a great mix of young players and veterans, and don't be surprised if Boston is back on top very soon. Very soon. Two stops. Last on the first. And the first one at the line is good. Free throws good from Kaminga. Celtics leading by four. Tatum on the wing. Curry against Holiday. The Warriors pull it in. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good in that one. It just seems like the defense wasn't interested. They got away with one. And Holiday kicks to Horford. The pass to Brown. Horford with the bounce pass. Holiday with the three. Buries the long-range jumper. An elite distributor for a pick man. Horford is the kind of guy you want to play basketball with. Outside Curry. Thompson passes to Kaminga. Lock at six. And Curry has it in the corner. And the Warriors tap in two more. He has the fastest shot in the game of basketball. Curry's release is so quick that the D can't afford to lay off him at all. Now here is Holiday. He's been a nice option for them offensively, and he's averaging more than 17 points a game. Pass to Tatum. Launches it. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. And the Celtics lead by six. An accurate shooter from distance. Tatum's teammates want him to keep looking to pull the trigger. Curry finds Green. Back to Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. Moody. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Can't connect from long distance. 
And, and already, they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell -shocked. And here's Thompson following the three from Drew Holiday. Pass to Kaminga. Looking here at some numbers on the ground. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. Putting up about 25 points per game, six rebounds, and four assists. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. He's someone you can rely on to bring it on a nightly basis. When they need a basket, he's the guy they turn to. That free throw, no good. Paul's checked in for Moody. And he sinks the second. Celtics leading by eight. Now here is Holiday. He's got six. To the inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And it goes on Draymond Green. And in the paint, Porzingis doesn't give the defense any opportunity there. He just stays aggressive and draws the foul. At the line for two. The first one falls. And staying healthy for Porzingis has been a challenge over his career. Not uncommon for players standing well above seven feet. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And in New York, even before his injuries, the front office voiced concerns about Porzingis' ability to stay healthy. Well, the, the track record for players 7-2 and up, not great. And, and today's game demands more movement from big men than ever before. Timeout called the Warriors. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. Celtics on D. Ten-point lead. Pass to Thompson. And here is Curry. Tries it from 19. Here's Kaminga. Porzingis with the block. And the 7-3 reach of Porzingis being put to great use there. Brown finds Holiday. Boston again missing. Warriors trail by 10. On the wing, Green. The shot will not fall. Nice D from Porzingis. And it's the Celtics ball. They're on an 11-3 run. Brown, good. And the defense looks soft. Early on, they've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Thompson against Tatum. Back to Green from outside the arc. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Green's got seven points. With all the attention Clay gets, it can lead to open looks for others. Nice decision. Horford the pass to Brock. Shoots over Curry, and he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. 14 points for him. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Now here's Curry. He picked up 30 points in their last win against the Wizards in Washington. Five to shoot. From deep three-point range, it doesn't go for him. 
And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. Green, Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has shot four rebounds in this game. A three from Tatum. It's rebounded by Golden State. Kaminga's got five rebounds tonight. In this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. And a block like that sends a message. One that says, oh, you're not giving up this lead. And the Warriors making a change here. Looney's checked in. Here's Boston now. They're on a 15-6 run. Outside Holiday. And there's the pass to Persingas. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hits the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Boston. Christoph Porzingis. One shot. At the line with one shot. And the free throw, no good. And at 7-3, Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. Now, here's Brown following the shot by Chris Paul. Brown inside. Can he battle for the ball and gets the second chance bucket? Brown's got 16. Brown's coach once told him, you have to want the rebound, and he has certainly stepped up his effort on the glass over the last few years. Now, here's Paul. He's coming off a 13-point game against Washington. And how about the passing? We've seen this from him. He's just absolutely shredding the D to pieces right now. And the three ball is good. Nice feed by Thompson. Most of the time, Clay either shoots or passes it. Doesn't really dribble that much. Here's Tatum. That one doesn't go. Good D by Thompson. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. There's the lob to Brown. Warriors with the rebound. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Looney with the bucket. Ball. Looney. And so Brown will bring it up for Boston. It's a 10-point game. Tries again. The shot by Holiday, no good. And taken away by Brown. From deep. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's Boston going into the break with a 10-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of the points coming right at the rim. Tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And the Celtics guys, what jumps out to you, stats wise? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. Warriors trailed by 10. Up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. Holiday out there with Brown, and it's Brzingis in at the center. That's the Boston Five. And there's the bucket from Kaminga. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. And Holiday kicks to Horford. Pass to Tatum. Brown outside. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Holiday against Curry. Pass to Paul. Passes it to Thompson. Five on the clock. 
Oh, ball in position. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Brown feeling out a bit. And the pass to Horford. Crops in the layup for two. Horford's got five. And it's the long arms and broad shoulders that make Horford such a tough matchup inside. Teams try to get physical with him, but he's usually up to the challenge. Kuminga with it, working on Horford. Paul for three. The rebound by the Celtics. Horford's got six rebounds now in the game. Tatum passes to Holiday. This one for three. It's rebounded by Curry. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Thompson misses. Celtics leading by nine. The shot by Holiday, no good. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Persingas. Persingas has got five rebounds tonight. Outside Holiday. Looking to get it going. And the layup is up and in. He's got eight. A really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. Outside Curry. Knocks down the three ball. It's first triple of the second quarter, third of the game. Austin's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Out to the right wing. Horford kicks to Brown. Pass to Holiday. Outside, Horford. Here's the three. Thompson with the rebound. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. I admire Thompson's toughness. Gets it from his dad and from his mom. Yeah, his mom played volleyball in college. His dad was the first overall pick in 1978. Played in the league for 13 seasons. Do you know what that's called? Good genetics. The Warriors have hit most of their free throws tonight. Five of six. Free throw good from Kaminga. Hey, Richard, for a while, teams went smaller. Uh, they became quicker. Now we're seeing some teams go big, playing two, sometimes three seven-footers in the lineup. It's amazing. Yeah, there's always a pendulum swing. Once it goes too small, then all of a sudden the pendulum swings back, and now everyone is looking for size. But you have to have size that can also stretch the floor because teams need guys that can rebound. That's what they're looking for. And so White will bring it up for Boston. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Tatum kicks to Brown. Pass to Persingas. Six on the shot clock. No good from outside. Warriors trail by six. Ball outside. Over White. Good on the 13-footer. There aren't a lot of guys in this league who shoot mid-range, but Paul, he's one of them. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. They're trying to stem the tide here. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty All curious. Fans, give it up for Celtics Entertainment. White finds Tatum. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Tillman, defended by Kaminga. Down to five on the shot clock. And the dunk by Porzingis. And talk about persistence. Porzingis just being a bully on the offensive glass and punishing the opposition. 
DePaul. Higgins outside. Outside Green. For the three. Austin grabs the miss. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Good work there as it goes. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. Passes to Wiggins. Now Kaminga. Off by An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just the score. Here's Tillman, defended by Kaminga. Back to White. The pass to Tillman. The Celtics need to get a shot off. The three from Tatum. Green with the rebound. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. Wiggins finds Kaminga. Here's Green. Fades away. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Yeah, and that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tipping. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? And here's Tatum for three. Doesn't go that time. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. A three-pointer. Wiggins. Rebound Boston. Brasingas has got rebound number seven for him tonight. White inside. Defended by Paul. And White kicks to Tatum. Pulls up. High post. That shot goes in. He now has three field goals and six misses today. Over the years, Tatum has limited the amount of mid-range jumpers that he takes, but it is still a natural part of his game. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Paul. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. White against Paul. White the pass to Persingas. And White kicks to Brown. Pulls it from 20. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Brown right side. Fades and shoots. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now eight for 14. And shooting-wise, he's been fantastic, helping to build this lead. Timeout time called the Warriors. And how about Jalen Brown, part of that young core for the Celtics? Yeah, he's been through a lot with this young group of guys. They've grown together, they've come in together, and they've gotten better together. And you've seen the production of Brown increase because of it. Let him hear it. And here are the Warriors now. They trail by six. Pass to Kaminga. It's deflected. Green. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Persingas. The game of Green. It's about testing the defense, finding their weak spots. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. 76% on the season from the foul line. Free throw good, Green. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing.
That one misses. The quintessential glue guy. Green does all the dirty work. You need one of these guys on your team because he has such a diverse skill set. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Tillman grabs the miss. Celtics leading by five. Porzingis passes to White. Back to Porzingis. Shoots over Kaminga. And it's Porzingis that time on the assist by White. Porzingis has got four points this quarter. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. Good. He hits the jump shot. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Pass to Tillman. Now here's Brown. And Derek White picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Moody's check in for the Warriors. Warriors substitution. Moses Moody. White against Paul. Fires the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Three points. He has seven. He was inside his own head in that first quarter. You could see it. Now he's doing a much better job of letting the game come to him. Round the pass to Tatum. Now Brzingis. Headed by Green. Shoots a fader. Brzingis can't hit. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Golden State moving it around. Two minutes remaining in the first. Half. Six to shoot. Two minutes. Kicks to Green. On deep. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got his fourth rebound in this one. There's the drive. Here's Tillman. Offensive rebound. Out to White. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists now in this one. Intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. Inside. Deflects the pass. Rzingis with the steal. Over in the corner, Brown. Sinks the triple. And it's a seven-point Celtic lead. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Here's Moody. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. An okay season at the free throw line for him so far, sitting right around 76%. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Horford comes in for Tillman, and it's Holiday in for White. Celtics leading by four. Outside Tatum. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, some would say he is already there. It feels like he's going to win an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the finals. And that one falls for Tatum. Richard Hammett, we've seen a lot of growth in Jason Tatum's game. He gives credit to the late Kobe Bryant for that. Yeah, he was fortunate enough to train with Kobe Bryant, and sometimes he reminds you of a young Kobe. He clearly absorbed a ton of information from him. And so Tatum nails them both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. 
Curry outside. Rebound, Boston. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Sharich. Okay, big boy. All right. You like to see Tatum asserting himself on the interior. Look, he's forcing the defense to foul. I just did too little. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. First free throw is good. And a great job from the line this quarter. They've gotten their percentage way up there. And so Tatum nails them both. Now look, from the moment he stepped into this league, Jason Tatum has been a difference maker. Every team in the league is looking for guys like him. Long, athletic, and most importantly, winners. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Sharch. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Good work defensively by Horford. Porzingis inside. It's good. Porzingis has got six here in this quarter. No wonder defenses have a hard time limiting Porzingis inside. Just look at that massive wingspan. And so it's the Boston Celtics going into the break with a 10-point lead. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And we'll be right back after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He had 21 points, five rebounds, and one steal. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? They're going to work in the paint. Doing a great job. Good portion of their offense was generated inside. Really outperformed their opponent in that aspect. I expect the defense to pack it in a little more in the second half and try to force those guys to stay outside. And over to Kenny now. How do you think the Warriors were playing? They've been out of sync in this one, shooting under 40%. Struggling to create good looks and settling for tough shots. I like to see them drive the basketball more and get easy buckets. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. It's been a clinic out there by Jalen Brown. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you, two quarters in the books. Warriors trailed by 10. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Guard pair on the floor, it's Curry and Thompson. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Moody. And it's Green in at the five spot. Does Steph Curry have the greatest jumper ever? Well, yes. And the bucket was another reason why I say yes. The three from Tatum. Green with the rebound. Green's got four rebounds now tonight. And here is Moody. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Boston ball. And so it's Perzingis. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. They lead by seven. Passes it to Holiday. Porzingis at the elbow. Shot clock at six. Here's Brown. Green with the rebound. Warriors trail by seven. And Kaminga gets it to go on the assist by Green. Kaminga's got 14. And, and you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Curry with the steal. 
count that one. Stephen. Curry's got five points now this quarter. A clean start to the half for them, knocking down their first three shots. And Holiday kicks to Horford. Now the pass to Tatum for three. And no good that time. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. That's not how you want to come out of the break. Three straight misses. They need to settle in quick. There's Kuminga. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. Horford. That one on Horford. Listen, for the adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. Jonathan it took them a little while to get there. Just goes to show as long as you persevere, you'll figure your way out. Misses. And many thought Horford's days were over after his OKC stint, but showed he can still be a difference maker in Boston. And boy, was he a huge part of their finals run. Moody the pass to Kaminga. On the wing, Thompson. Drives to the hoop. Good work defensively by Horford. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Horford may not be as consistent as he once was, but great, he shows up when you need him the most. You know, he had several big games for the Celtics in the postseason. Great shooter who can really space the court for you. Still also a top-level defender at the rim, and he helped define their interior defense. Brown kicks to Tatum. No one near him. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And they have started out this quarter shooting just 20%. Let's just say this is not the way they wanted to open the second half. Tatum passes to Persingas. They're running. Out to Thompson. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pass to Moody. Six on the shot clock. And yes, it's good. Moses, Moody. Moody's got the lead up to one now for the Warriors. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Right side Tatum. Tatum. It's good on the putback. And the Celtics lead by one. And Tatum's teammates love the hustle. They appreciate him going hard on the offensive glass and really getting it done. Pass to Green. Outside Curry. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by the Celtics. Persingas has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. He trains the quick shot. And you have to be right up on Holiday. When you're not, he's ready to take those quick shots. Curry dishes to Kaminga. Oh, good on that one. Good work defensively by Horford. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Holiday gets the bucket. Now it's a five-point Celtic lead. An intense competitor. It's clear that Holiday enjoys going hard at the defense and finishing on them. Curry passes to Moody. Green with the ball. Over Porzingis. And the Warriors miss again. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Textbook defense take a good angle to the shooter and bother the release. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Thompson outside. Shot to stop the run. Trains the three-pointer. Because of his footwork and fundamentals, Thompson always looks on balance and does a great job of squaring his shoulder. 
Offside Tatum. Yes, that goes in. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Moses Moody. That's his and taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Boston. First team foul. At the line for the Celtics. Jason Tatum at the line with one shot. And the Warriors with possession here. Seven point differential. Their next game is in Cleveland taking on the Cavaliers. That will conclude a five game road trip for them. Boston's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And Holiday kicks to Horford. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. Tatum gets the bucket. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Timeout called the Warriors. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. Entertainment. Warriors trail by eight. Thompson outside. From the arc. And the Warriors get it back. Fades. That's his fifth miss of the game. He has made six of his 11 shots. Here's Tatum. And he uses the glass on the lane. And now a 10-point Boston lead. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. But it's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. Outside, White. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First, yeah, the defender foul, all over. Foul. Derek White was only six feet in high school. No D1 schools Derek even Bruce. offered a scholarship. Derek ended up two. at a D2 school, but White had a major growth spurt up to 6'4. Transfers to a D1 school. The Spurs take him late in the first. What a crazy path to the league. And that one falls for White. Wiggins is checked in for Kaminga. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. They trail by nine points. Passes it to Green. Yep, it counts. Green's got 13. Good luck against Green inside. Even when you throw contact at him, he just fights twice as hard. Here's Hauser. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. First, first That's his foul. first foul. Third team foul. Outside Holiday. The pass to Hauser. Tatum on the wing. Let's the three fly. Hands it from downtown. Tatum's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Boston. He knocked one deep ball in the first half, but you start to get the feeling he's finding his rhythm out there now. Pass to Wiggins. Fade away. Rebound Boston. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's White. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now it's a 12-point Boston lead. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Curry dishes to Thompson. Back to Curry. Just five on the clock. Beyond the arc. He's off on that one. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Just holiday. Deep and a 
again, Boston with the triple. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Thompson. And again, unable to change momentum here. They are losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Here's Hauser. He's covered by Thompson. Here's Hauser. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. Warriors trail by 15. It's tipped. Tatum on the wing. He's covered by Thompson. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. The Celtics making a switch here. Tillman's checked in. And the Warriors also making a change. Kevon Looney is checked in for Green. Golden State's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Passes it to Curry. Remaining in the third. Two minutes. Now Looney. Thompson outside. And again, it's the Warriors missing. On offense, here are the Celtics. They're on an 18-7 run. Outside Holiday. Here's Tillman. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And it's White missing. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Curry. Wiggins trying to free himself up. Curry shot is off. Austin leading by 15. The pass to Tillman. To the wing on the left. Nice ball movement by Boston. Holiday, the pass to Tillman. A new 14 for Boston. Here's Cornette. Sinks that one from the post. Cornette's got his first two points. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Holiday with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. The shot by Holiday, no good. Curry hits to Wiggins. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Their three-point percentage three has points. taken a big leap here in this second half. Pass to Tillman. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. From eight, and the nice bucket inside from Holiday. Holiday's got 11 points here in just the second half. Holiday against Curry. Holiday with the defensive effort. What a performance from Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for Boston. After a fantastic quarter, he's sitting on a double-double. And there's nowhere to go but up for him. Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. Gain control. Come on now. Every pass, every possession. Play with a purpose. We talked about this. All right? Solid play every time. Right now. Come on. Oh, some fire in Coach Kerr's voice right there. Greg demanding his team kick it up a notch. How about the intensity from the coach there? Less than happy with his team's effort right now. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Holiday out there with Brown. Then there's Horford. And there's Porzingis. And it's Hauser in at the small four. That's the Boston Five. Pass to Moody. Back to Curry. Pass to Looney. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Here's Holiday. The 
pass to Hauser. And he gets the button. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? Easy foul. bucket in the paint. Moses Moody, third personal foul. First team foul. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's at checked line, in. Sam Hauser at the line, shooting one. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Warriors trailed by 19. Curry passes to Moody. Back to Curry. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. From past the arc, connects from three-point range. Moody. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Thompson against Brown. Over to the wing. Horford has a wide open look. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his third assist on the night. Warriors shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Over to the left wing. Now, here's Moody. Back to Curry. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Curry. 20 points Assistant. for Stephen Curry. Moses you think Moody. he may throw Steph off? No way. So focused. Curry against Tully. Lock at six. Pass to Persingas. That's good. He's five for nine. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Thompson against Brown. Outside green. And here is Moody. Rebounded by Hauser. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. There's the lob to the hoop. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Curry against Holiday. To the wing right side. Horford. Off target from three-point range. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Green dishes to Thompson. Outside Curry. Pass to Moody. Let's it go from 11. And the shot is long. And so Holiday will bring it up for Boston. Second chance shot. And the layup good by Brown. Brown's got four points in the quarter. You see the confidence building in Brown offensively. First, it was taking over stretches. Now, it's taking over games. A nice shot by Moody. Moody. Yeah, they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Austin leading by 17. Outside Holiday. And here's Brown outside. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Green's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. A nice shot by Moody. Moody. Nice timing on the pass from Green. Finding the open guy with ease. For Boston, they've gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Passes to Persingas. And the officials have called the illegal screen right there. Only specs and fumbles with the ball. And overall, I think they've done a good job limiting those slip Jason Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. And the Warriors with possession here. 15-point game. Curry passes to Moody. Curry dishes to Kaminga. Porzingis with the block. Outside Holiday. 
shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And now in his 14th NBA foul. season, Second just foul. one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. At the line for two shots. The first free throw is good. You know, Greg, you can make the case Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And, you know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked. Just one all-star game. But Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple all-star seasons. Both free throws good from Holiday. Here's Curry. And there's the pass to Moody. Dishes to Kaminga. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Horford. Oh, Tatum in position. What muscle on that finish. It's hard trying to prevent Tatum from converting. Warriors trailed by 19. Curry kicks to Thompson. Pass to Moody. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Outside Tatum. Out to the right wing. Brown finds Tatum. And that one drops for him. And that's now 30 points for Jason Tatum. As a player, a rough first half, look, it can wake you up. Sometimes it leads to much improved play in the second half. Curry against Helen. Golden State moving the ball around. Shot clock at five. Here's Curry. Rebound, Boston. Horford's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Green against Porzingis. On the wing, Brown. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And the slam Moody. by Moody. Moody. One of the all-time great passing big men. Green opens up so many opportunities for this offense. Here's Holiday. Baseline try. Porzingis can't hit. Warriors trailed by 17. On the wing, Thompson. Down low. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Porzingis. It's on Porzingis. By the looks of it, the Hall of Fame class of 2023, Richard, should be loaded. A lot of big names could be headed to Springfield, Massachusetts. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful to see two of the biggest rivalries, San Antonio and Dallas. Tony Parker and Dirk Nowitzki are on the ballot. Take a break. And then there's break. Mr. Wade, Dwayne Wade. We know about that. So there's going to be a lot of rings walking into that ceremony. A lot of rings indeed. And the first one drops. Perhaps the greatest shooter the game has ever seen. Curry continues to age like fine wine. Stephen Curry hits them both. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Fires for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Here's Moody over Tatum. Moody's shot is off. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Here's Tatum. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Jonathan Kaminga. You love how Tatum commits to his shots. A foul won't stop him from getting an and one. At the line 
Jason Tatum at the line for two shots. And that one falls for Tatum. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Warriors trail by 17. Pass to Moody. And here's Thompson. Shoots over Brown. Thompson Wayne with the bucket. Thompson. Phenomenal shooter from the mid-range. All Clay needs is a little Moody. bit of daylight. Like a little bit. And it is gold. Outside Tatum. Three-pointer. Sinks the three-pointer. Tatum's got 35. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. Back to Curry. Let's it go with a three. Another three for Golden State. What a response from Curry. Gotta know he's coming for his revenge. Holiday, the pass to Horford. Here's Brown. The shot misses. Good D by Thompson. Warriors trail by 15. Green dishes to Kaminga. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Holiday looking for an opening. Brown inside the line. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got six assists in the game. Green kicks to Thompson. Green against Porzingis. Green passes to Thompson. Jalen Brown with the rebound. Even though it wasn't a clear path, he knows that that's a shot he should make more often times than not. Horford dishes to Brown. And the Celtics hit again from deep. A consistent shot for him. Brown likes the three. Curry passes to Green. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside for Curry. From deep. No good that time. Now Boston takes it the other way. Passes it to Horford. The Celtics working the ball around now. Five on the clock. Here's the pass to Brock. Misses the three. Warriors trail by 18. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity Moses, and Moody. aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for Boston. Nothing like second chance buckets to pick up the scoring pace. Yeah, it was impressive how they piled on the extra points, hitting the offensive glass, and then also winning the 50 50 ball back. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. Third and you know, this is a win they wanted badly, guys. They did not want to get swept in the season series. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this guy. Such an overall great performance it was for Jason Tatum. He did a great job following his team's game plan and not rushing anything on offense, which allowed him to catch fire. That free throw good from Drew Holiday. And even with the ratings going strong, the younger generations often cord cutting. How does the NBA engage that audience? Kevin, I think making game action trend on social media and when big moments happen for a, maybe a small fee, allow people to be a part of it, it's like highlights, but live. And so he makes both from the line. Warriors trail by 17. Pass to Moody. 
fifty nine seconds left in the game. Three pointer. And Tatum pulls it down. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pass to Holiday. Over Pete. Boston, no good that time either. Passes it to Moody and stolen by Tatum. The dish to Holiday. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now Tatum, and That's there's great. the whistle. He Illegal screen. Now beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. 15 seconds left to play here in the fourth. From deep three-point range, misses the shot. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. They poured it out a nice dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This should be an active game. Two squads that really move the ball well and share the load offensively, Brent. Well, we got some great playmakers out here, B.A., so it's a multitude of guys who are going to be able to survey the floor, maybe make that backdoor play or that lob pass to the rim. That's going to be a lot of fun. All right, check it out. Golden State's opening lineup. Curry and Thompson pair up at the one and the two. Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Green. And it's Moody in at the three spot. And there's Kuminga. That one's good on the assist by Thompson. Well, you're always looking to see if somebody has a better shot, even if your name's Clay Thompson. Nice dish. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the reliability of what Drew Holiday brings to the hardwood. It's about that menacing defense night after night with great hands and great instinct. Well, Brent, after years of being an elite defender, Holiday is finally getting the recognition he deserves. And yeah, the best part of guys like this, B.A., is that ask other guards around the league what it's like to introduce your offensive game to a guy like Drew Holiday. They will tell you he's one of the best perimeter defenders that you're going to find. After a couple of injury-plagued seasons where they missed the playoffs, the Warriors have returned to their winning ways, and just how impressive has that been? Holiday hits them both. Right, and getting Clay Thompson back has been a major factor for their renewed success. Well, there's no doubt how vital Clay is to this team, but you got to give credit to their overall depth. I don't think Clay was fully healthy last year uh, at any point, so he's coming in stronger. This roster still feels like strength in numbers is in effect. Porzingis passes to Holiday. Back to Horford. Pass to Holiday. Clock at six. Tatum passes to Brown. From outside, off the mark. Outside Kaminga. And here's Curry for three. That one is off. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Porzingis passes to Horford. An easy two on the layup. I like that Al right there just got a great angle and he finished strong. Here's Curry. Phenomenal stats on a consistent basis. Puts up over 24 points a game. Outside Kaminga. Puts up a three. Porzingis grabs the board. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Pass to Horford. Now Tatum, he's watched by Kaminga, and 
and it's Tatum with the three. Such a solid and unique big man in today's game. Horford's passing skills and ability to find the open teammate is very special. Here's Moody. Playing Washington, he was nearly unstoppable. Curry passes to Thompson. Here's Moody, hounded by Tatum. And here's Thompson for three. They get it again. Moody. Ooh, he can't stop the run as that misses. Here's Holiday. Doesn't go for him. Curry with some nice D. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Here's Moody. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Great D that time from Porzingis. Outside Tatum. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Give Tatum credit. Getting ideal positioning inside and hammering it down with power. And the Warriors call time here. They defeated Washington in their last game. You have to respect their ability to stay consistent away from home. Keeping their cool and making quality shots. Awesome to see in that last game how the motion in their offense didn't stop because they were in some hostile territory. Now here's Thompson. Big time contributor on offense. Just over 22 points a game. Here's Moody. Hounded by Tatum. And again, no good by Golden State. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Brown can't hit. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Moody, defended by Brown. And here's Curry for three. Hauled in by Brown. Here are the Celtics with the ball. Right now on a 9-0 run. Here's Porzingis. And that's off the glass and in. Porzingis. This run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Tatum with a steal. Inside. Here's Brown. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Thompson finds Curry. Five on the clock. He's off on that one. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Coming off a win against the Hornets. And most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inward, trusted each other, and made good plays. Yeah, and in that game, it turned into a massive scoring night. It wasn't so much about the, the game plan as it was establishing early confidence to get that win. And the Warriors call time here. The middle part of the season can present some unique challenges. Grant, how do you maintain your focus as a player? Well, it can be tough. It can be really challenging because it is such a long season. You ultimately have to keep your eyes on the prize. And of course, veterans know hard work now pays off later. You want to protect your record and start building late season momentum. Here's Moody. Tatum with a steal. Pass to Porzingis. And here's Horford. Outside Holiday. From the high post. It's rebounded by Golden State. And that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Pass to Green. Will it go? Tatum with some nice D. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Horford can't hit. Here's Moody, defended by Brown. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Draymond Green around the rim, trying to find a little bit of a window to get that ball up. Outside, Brown. To Holiday. 
Pass to Brown. Horford for three. The rebound by Moody. The Warriors trailing. Here's Thompson. That one goes. Now he's one for two. How about Clay showing off his handle as he finds some open room to get to the score? Holiday passes to Horford. Here's Tatum. Takes a three. Good. And it's Horford who picks up the assist. Tatum's got eight. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Pass to Brown. From deep. And again, Boston with the triple. He was cold, but that basket might get him going. One for six now. Curry passes to Thompson. How about Clay Thompson? He's just been so consistent on a nightly basis on both ends of the floor, and he's learned how to share the ball. Holiday against Curry. Right side for Zingas. Soft touch off the glass. Porzingis has got his second basket of the game. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Now here's Curry. Now oh, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Oh, to have a soft touch is one thing, but to do it from 25 feet, come on, Steph. Here's Holiday to the middle. Here's Porzingis. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. Really taking charge of the game, largely with the detailed interior attack. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area and just dominating, controlling that spot. Moody misses. Grab that one. However, so far, they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. Pass to Holiday. This one for three. Kaminga pulls it in. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. That one falls. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. Holiday against Thompson. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Drew Holiday. You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. That free throw is good from Thompson. And we think back to 2015, Grant. Clay Thompson with the best quarter in league history. Oh, B.A. 37 points from him in one quarter, setting an NBA record. Clay 13 for 13 from the field and 9 for 9 from deep, taking only four dribbles the entire time. Only Clay Thompson, guys. Both free throws good from Thompson. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Pass to Horford. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Al Horford has seen so much in his career. He's become a valuable asset both on the floor and in the locker room as a leader. Horford. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Boston. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. And let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. The first free throw is good.
Horford hits them both. The Warriors shooting 33% in the first quarter. Thompson outside. Two minutes remaining. Back to Paul. Over Holiday. Paul shot is off. Well, the Celtics shooting about 47% during this first quarter. And the jam by Brown. Look at how Tatum surveys the whole floor. That's how he spots the wide open man. Outside Curry. Back to Paul. Outside Kaminga. Just five on the clock. Over Horford. Horford with the block. Well, a level of engagement that Horford brings on the defensive end every night is impressive. Terrific block there. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Kuminga against Horford. Paul with a steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. Count it. And this is what he does so well, putting the defender back on his heels and being relentless in flying to the basket. Pass to Brown. Back to Holiday. Now here's Brown. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. When Brown gets the ball this close in, he knows he can finish. Just a matter of execution. Now here's Thompson. Six points for him. Fires from deep. Connects from downtown. Thompson's got nine. The Celtics with the lead. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Horford finds Holiday. Six on the shot clock. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. And a second look at that rejection. Taking no prisoners on defense there. <laughs> Showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Here's Curry. The rebound, Celtics. Brown's got four rebounds now from deep three-point range. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's Boston. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. All right, fans, give it up. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. The Warriors trailing. On the floor for the Warriors. Thompson the two with Wiggins at the three. Green out there with Kaminga. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. Here's Wiggins. And he buries his first look. Toughness there from Andrew Wiggins. Would like to see more baskets like that one from him. To the left wing. Outside Tatum. Second chance shot. And the layup is good. Tatum's got 10 points. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Outside Kaminga. 4-3. The rebound, Celtics. Tatum's got his fifth rebound in this one. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second person. Clay Thompson picks one up. And look at Tatum getting aggressive inside, firing off his shot while drawing the foul. Tatum at the line for two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Well, Brent, comparing eras, a touchy subject. But how do you juxtapose the era of your father, Rick, in the 60s and 70s, 
to your era and even nowadays? Well, I think between the rule changes, the adoption of the three-point line, and the skill and growth and all the technology and science behind players, that it's really, really difficult to look back 25 years ago and compare the game. Just the game itself, B.A., let alone talking about players and their skills. Thompson outside. Paul passes to Thompson. Six to shoot. Oh, deflected. And a foul Golden called State on the foul. way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First, first Great body foul. control from Holiday Second gets the shot ball. off while getting hit in the process. At the line, Drew Holiday. At the line for two shots. Shooting two. And he makes a first. And there's so many plays where Drew Holiday will show you just how creative he can be with the basketball. And he makes both free throws. And the Warriors shooting only 36% so far in this game. Thompson outside. Pass to Green. Wiggins with it. And here's Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. And again, no good by Golden State. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Porzingis. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his first foul. A great job to establish position and square up. And so it's Golden State with it. A 12-point game. Thompson passes to Paul. Yes, it's good. Paul's gotten his second bucket. Attacking the paint, making an adjustment. Defense is right there, but that's a terrific effort by Paul. Porzingis passes to Horford. Back to Porzingis. Good, and it's Horford who picks up the assist. Porzingis has got eight. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks. Well, Jason Tatum added muscle to his frame and layers to his game, but still not satisfied. He said, quote, I just got to be better. I have to elevate my level from being one of the top 10 to 15 players to a top five player. I got to make everybody else around me better. Brian, still work to do. And plenty of runway to do it, Allie. Thanks. Holiday. And it's poor Zingas that time on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got assist number five here tonight. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Back to Paul. Thompson against Brown. And stolen by Porzingis. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Here's Holiday. They get it back. There's Tatum with the three. Here's Brown. And they finally get it to go. A full night's work on the boards and one trip down the floor. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Pass to Thompson. The three is up. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. 
Uh, you can never let Clay shoot off a crisp pass. He just lets that go so quick. And I think Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now we see him at times playing a bunch at the four. Andrew and that's Wiggins. what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Pass to Horford. On the wing, Holiday. Shoots over Paul. It's not going to go for him. The Warriors go the other way with him. And for Wiggins, he'll play the stretch four at times. Grant, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward, but we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. Clock is at three. Here's Wiggins. And that comes Andrew off the assist Wiggins. by Green. Wiggins got six points. Well, Wiggins is a good mid-range shooter. When he's in a rhythm, faced up like that, they'll take it. Pass to Holiday. The three. Thompson pulls it in. Okay, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. And that one's good. Green. Green. Simple. The closer you are to the hoop, the better your chance to score. Holiday passes to Horford. Here's Brown. Takes the three. On target from range. Brown's got five points now this quarter. Not sure how he saw that there. Holiday with a firm understanding how to get the ball to an open teammate. The three from Thompson. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Three points. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. And the shot goes down. He's got 12. Guys, he can't miss. I swear, he was trying to miss that. He did not miss. That means he can't miss. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Green. Defended by Porzingis. Holiday against Paul. Orford pulls it in. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebounding. Porzingis finds Brown. Now here's Horford. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Grant, this is the business you and I are in. The NBA has a couple of years with existing TV partners. How much are we going to see things change with the next deal, you think? Oh, B.A., this is interesting as this continues to evolve. I think... As people's viewing habits have changed in the last 10 to 15 years, I think live sports and the NBA game is still something fans love to see in real time. I think also the fact that we can also attract a larger audience is exciting. I don't know how it'll all play out, but I know it'll be fun to follow and watch as we go. Offensive board. And it's Tatum missing. He's getting good looks on the floor, but he simply cannot bury anything right now. He's got to stay confident, though, because everyone knows he can hit those shots. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Tatum's got five points in the quarter. His shooting has been fantastic, and this team has leaned on him. Pass to Green. Ball with it. And the Warriors miss again. Boston's gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. And that one's good. Poor Zingas. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. Pass to Kaminga. Wiggins outside. Shoots over Brown. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Back to White. All alone. Yes. Great play by Horford to set him up. Horford's got his fourth assist with that last one. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. 
outside Paul. Fires the three. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got five rebounds in the game. Outside, Brown. And he can't get that one. So Golden State will take it the other way. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Well, that was clearly a foul. Personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Golden State. Number two. At the line for two. First one at the line is good. And the Warriors make some changes. Looney comes in for Green. And it's Stephen Curry in for Paul. Good on both. Now White. He's been productive. Averaging just over seven points a game. Brown passes to White. Back to Brown. Unloads from 13. Another one falls for Boston. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Wiggins passes to Kaminga. Defended by Brown. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second. Jalen Brown picks one up. Second team foul. Shooting for Golden State. Number two. Taking two shots. Two shots. And he drops the first. Shots good from the strike. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. White on the wing. Pass to Horford. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line. Al Horford at the line with one shot. What's up? That's good from Horford. Golden State has gone two of five from distance here in the second two quarter. Remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Curry passes to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Shot clock at five. Here's Looney. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Tatum's got his eighth rebound here tonight. White the pass to Porzingis. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Porzingis has got 17 points. And since the first quarter, we've seen them reduce their attempts from downtown. And quite frankly, I think that's a good idea. Pass to Kaminga. Wiggins outside. 20 feet out. Rebound Boston. When this game is done, they'll be off to Toronto, taking on the Raptors. That's the first of a three-game trip out on the road for them. Now Tatum. Here's the three, and the Celtics have another three. Picking up right where he left off. Hit two triples in the first quarter. Now he gets another to fall. Wiggins against Tatum. 
Wiggins outside. Good. He hits the jumper. Give him eight. Yeah, this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Here's Tatum. And score it. That now makes him 7 for 11 in this game. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Pass to Wiggins. Outside Curry. Throws it up high. He makes Andrew. that look so easy. Andrew Wiggins up and down on the alley-oop. Outside, Brown. From deep three-point range. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for Boston. Dominating on the glass. What a quarter. All right, now let's check in with that. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break. Ready for the second half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. It was all Jason Tatum in the first quarter. He had 18 points, two assists, and eight rebounds. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? What a true demonstration of dominance. They made a commitment to owning the glass, and they made good on it. Blocking out, competing hard in traffic, that's the way you should play on both ends of the court. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? It's their defense that's put them in this spot. Giving up easy looks all over the place. It's like they don't have even a, a game plan in place. Check out the field of the that they've allowed. Oh, that's not going to cut it, man. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Uh. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And the Warriors shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. Derek White out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. That's the Boston Five. Outside, Brown. That one goes. Count it. Brown's got 16 points. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Pass to Moody. Back to Thompson. Now Wiggins. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. 12 points for him. He's trying to will this team back into it, doing all he can offensively. Outside Holiday, and here's Brown for three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got eight assists in the game. Pass to Moody. Now here's Thompson, defended by Brown. Thompson passes to Curry. Over Holiday. Shot is good by Curry. Curry's gotten his second bucket of the game. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Now Tatum jacks up a three. The rebound by Wiggins. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Okay, good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. The Celtics making a switch here. Orford's checked in. Andrew Wiggins. One shot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And 
Andrew Wiggins came into this league as such a special talent. It's so great to see all of that blossoming this far into his career. To the paint. Here's Porzingis. And the shot's good. Porzingis has got 19 points. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. A top five pick back in 2015. The seven foot three Chris Depps Porzingis ushered in a bit of a new era there. The rise of the seven footer who could step out and drain three. Yeah, 80 percent. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. Pass to Tatum. It's Brown on the wing. Shoots over Thompson. Brown can't hit. Well, since Porzingis was drafted, there have been a bunch of seven-foot shooters going in the first. It's a good call, B.A. You think about guys like Lowry, Markkanen. These guys feel like they stretch it out a bit. They can get behind the three-point line and knock shots down. But Porzingis opened up a, a new way to think about the offense from the five spot. Green, the pass to Curry. Tatum with a steal. Outside Holiday. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Holiday perks up a little bit when he gets to the inside, knowing that there's the possibility of some contact. Drew Holiday at the line for two. Knocks down the first one. Sharic checks in for Andrew Wiggins. And he can't hit the second. The Warriors have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Moody. Now here's Sharich. Thompson outside. Here's Moody. Shot clock at six. And a miss there on the triple. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Outside Holiday. On the wing, Tatum, beyond the arc. Warriors with the rebound. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Thompson against Porzingis. 11 feet out. Thompson's shot is off. For Boston, they've gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Horford. The shot. Boston, no good that time either. Well, the Warriors shooting only 42%. The open shot by Sharich. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Catch and shoot opportunity for Dario, and he doesn't waste it. And here's Brown, defended by Thompson. Thompson against Brown. Porzingis for three. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Porzingis has got 22. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, your confidence grows, and you win that turnover battle. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Well, the league and the world have endured tremendous challenges in recent years. Commissioner Silver said, quote, we found a way to keep going under very difficult circumstances. It required enormous diligence. To keep playing throughout the pandemic, we are particularly proud of that. Brian? Hey, the show must go on. Thanks, Alec. I, I don't know if you push the panic button now, but that's the fourth personal. And he needs to stay aggressive out there. So it's going to be interesting to see how he plays moving forward. 
Holiday against Curry. Horford outside. Over Sharich. Again, the Celtics good for two more. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Green, the pass to Thompson. Brown with some nice D. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Tatum finds Brown. Floats one up. The Warriors pull it in. Thompson's got four rebounds now. Over to the wing. Knocked loose. And stolen by Porzingis. On the wing, Tatum. Inside. From the elbow. Porzingis misses. Golden State has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Here's Green. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Green's got six. Well, Draymond doesn't just come down with the rebound. He goes right back up aggressively to score. Pass to Brown. Curry against Holiday. Let's it fly. Drained it for two points. He's got seven. The Warriors have gone seven of 13 in the second half. Thompson with it. Back to Curry. Thompson left side. Here's Moody. Now here's Sharich. Pass to Moody. Right at the free throw line. Rebounded by the Celtics. Porzingis has got eight rebounds in the game. <laughs> this is a game he'd like to forget. And the worst part is bringing down the whole squad. He hasn't found the range lately. It's wild to think he had three triples there in the first half. Here's Moody, defended by Brown. Moody misses. There's aggressive, and then there's trying to do too much. His scoreless effort is hurting this team. Tatum, good. And Brown gets the assist. Brown's got three assists tonight. Growing into his role as a franchise player, Tatum with a huge game. It's been so much fun watching him tonight. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. You look at Kristaps Porzingis. What a contribution. And the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there, so it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. Some changes for Boston. Tillman's checked in for Horford. Hauser comes in for Tatum. And Pritchard is subbed in for Holiday. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Paul comes in for Moody. Thompson passes to Paul. Back to Thompson. Fires the three. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make and nine tries so far. Sometimes you don't get this kind of aggressive Clay Thompson on the offensive end, but the teammates love to see it. Up top, Brown. He's covered by Curry. Out to the right wing. Here's Pritchard. That shot off the mark. Nice D from Paul. The Warriors have gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. Pass to Looney. Well, the defender was all over Kevon Looney. And he got physical right back. That's a nice play. Personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Golden State. Kevon Looney. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. If you have the good fortune of playing next to superstars in this league, there are certain guys who thrive in that environment, and Kevon Looney has been one of them. Cornette's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Brown. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Boston has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Pass to Hauser. 
Back to White. To the wing on the left. Here's Tillman. Hauled in by Paul. Golden State has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Now what do you say about CP3 other than this guy is an all-timer? When you think about guys down the stretch who you have run your offense, CP3 has to be mentioned up there. Pass to Cornette. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Kevon Looney picks one up. As for CP, seems irreplaceable with each team he's been on. Well, he does so much for a team in terms of just keeping accountability from the coach's voice to his. Not only does he perform at the highest level on the floor, there's a lot of things that CP3 brings off the floor that really help teach guys what being a pro is all about. That free throw misses. And he's good on the second. And for the Warriors, they're shooting about 53% on the third. A very good number. The three from Thompson. That drops. And it comes Wayne off an assist Thompson. from Curry. Well, Curry's got his third assist of the night. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Pass to Tillman. Here's Pritchard. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Great open look there. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Left side, Curry. Thompson outside. 4-3. And the Warriors with another three. Yeah, Thompson coming right back and Clay saying, yeah, I know I play D, but I also hit threes. That's a nice response. Here's Tillman. He's watched by Kuminga. He can't hit that time. And Golden State will come the other way. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Cleveland where they'll face the Cavaliers. That'll put the finishing touches on a five-game road trip. Boston's gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. Here's Hauser, defended by Thompson. Hauser can't get it to go. And for the Warriors, they're shooting at 45% of the game so far. Curry, no good. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Pass to Tillman. Here's Hauser to the right side. Five to shoot. Here's Pritchard. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Pritchard's got his first basket. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Cornette, first personal foul, third team foul. At the line for the Warriors, Jonathan Kaminga at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. 
Outside White. And a foul oh, called on the foul. way up. So he'll take Stephen. two from the free throw line. First it's on Stephen foul. Curry. Good man. Foul. The defender really went after him. Apple line. Derek White. Apple line for two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Right hits them both. Just four seconds left in the third. With one on the clock. He can't get that one to fall. And so it's Boston leading by 17 at the end of the period. And they've racked up a ton of turnovers. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. And so in the game for the Warriors... They've got Jonathan Kaminga. He's out there with Draymond Green. Clay Thompson is out there with Stephen Curry. Gets the three ball to go. Nice play. Tatum consistent with that jump shot, especially off the catch. Curry against Holiday from deep. Curry's shot is off. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. Grant, you look at the playoffs last year. I mean, a lot of big-name stars struggled to deliver. Is that every year, or you think that was an anomaly? Uh, you know, B.A., I think it was a bit of an anomaly. I mean, I, I, I think you think what's happened in the league in the last few years with the bubble and then the restart last season there's been a lot of basketball played and I think it's impacted a lot of players so I think moving forward we'll get back to a level of normalcy with the rest and recovery of the offseason and big name stars will continue to excel and thrive in the years to come left side Kaminga and there it is for him. Yeah, so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. Pass to Brown. Back to Holiday. On the wing, Tatum. Just five to shoot. And the layup is good off the glass. Tatum's got 25 points in the game. With the skills of a guard, Tatum has the size of a power forward. It makes him so tough to stop inside. Here's Moody. Back to Curry. And That's play three. stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. For Boston, they've gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Curry against Holiday. Let's the three fly. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Kuminga, the pass to Curry. Tries to break his ice. And the layup is up and in. His first half performance, somewhat forgettable. But now he's pouring it on. Holiday against Curry. Pass to Horford. Let's it go from deep. Boston again missing. The Warriors have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. 
Outside Kaminga. Fires from deep. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. That's his fourth foul of the contest. First team foul. Boston's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Outside Tatum. Drains the triple. Tatum's got ten points here in the second half. Making his mark from long range today. That's his second triple of the half. His fifth overall. Here's Curry. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. The assist. Curry's got four this quarter. All of a sudden, he's balling. Halftime adjustments successful so far. Outside, Brown. And the jam by Brown. Brown taking on all challengers. This kind of fearless approach is what his teammates and coaches love seeing. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Defended by Brown. Pass to Kaminga. Let's go with a three. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Now Holiday. He's covered by Curry. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation in high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, B.A., I love this. I mean, the NBA really, truly has been a leader when it comes to this. Whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York, living and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of. The NBA, where everyone is welcome. Good on the bucket. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. To the left side wing. Outside, Brown. Out left to the wing. Horford inside. Kaminga's on him. Four on the clock. And that one's good for Zingas. Now the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. Back to Curry. Pass to Moody. There's the triple. And it's good. Moody. Assisting on the play Moody. was Curry. Three. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. And here's Horford. The three is up. And again, Boston with the triple. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Pass to Green. Let's it go. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got a seventh rebound here tonight. Holiday passes to Brown. Shoots over Curry. Again, Boston. A superb mid-range shooter. From all Brown needs is some separation, and he's ready to pull up. Holiday against Curry. Well, your Hall of Fame dad, Rick, made some interesting comments, Brent. One of them encouraging the league to crack down on illegal screens. No way, B.A. My dad said something that was controversial or interesting. You got to get, get out of here. Yeah, I mean, illegal screens, do we want to see less of them? Sure. Outside, green. Down low. And there's a three-second violation. Ooh, talk about a way to deflate the team. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Now here's Holiday, guarded closely. Pass to Brown. Here's Brissett. Misses from short range. Defense as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. And misses it off the right side of the rim. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Here's Brown. Austin again missing. The Warriors have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. 
And that'll be Golden State's ball as it goes out of bounds. Warriors able to keep possession. Pritchard's checked in for Holiday. Robinson, he's checked in for the Warriors. So it's the Warriors now. Puts up a three. And it's Cornette with a rebound. For Boston, they've gotten eight of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. Here's Pritchard. He can't get it to go. So Golden State will take it the other way. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, Grant, in the pace and space era of the NBA, it seems like the rate of free throws league-wide has declined State. dramatically. Jackson yeah, Davis I love that, B.A. It keeps the shots. game going. There's a flow to the game, and we like it as broadcasters. Shoot and two. you know the fans love it as well. So I hope the league will continue on this trend. The first free throw is good. And so he's able to get one of two. Boston's gone four of six from deep thus far in the fourth. Mikhail Luke. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Brown's got six assists in the game. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line in a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. The Warriors pull it in. Sharich has got four rebounds now. And Grant, you played on a Suns team whose training staff was renowned. Is that still a differentiator between teams, or has everybody caught up and on the same level now? You know, B.A., I think everyone's caught up. You know, 15 years ago, the Suns training staff was ahead of their time. But now teams are all much more sophisticated. They understand injury prevention, rest, recovery, really aiding the players, and I think adding years for players on the back end of their careers. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Pass to Payton. Defended by Brown. Boston and Jalen Brown gets a whistle Jaylen that time. Brown. That's his third, third foul of the game. Foul. The Celtics making a Second switch here. Foul. Hauser's checked in. Now into the lineup for the Celtics. Sam Hauser. Celtics on D. And the officials Boston whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. You know, that was an excellent play right there, using his strength to power through contact. At the line for the Warriors, number two, shooting one. One shot. Well, Grant, we're seeing players extend their careers. Often, diet plays a big role. How important was that in your day, and how important do you think that is now? It's so important. The food you put into your body, the rest, the recovery, uh, all of that plays a role in extending your career and having great longevity along the way. Here's Sharich. The rebound by Brissett. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. Tipped. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Mikhailuk. Fires for three. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. Woo, hard work creating the second chance opportunity.
Clock at six. Now here's Peyton. He's closely guarded. And he was Boston fouled while in the act of shooting, Peyton so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul, fourth team foul. At the line for the Warriors, number two. At the line for two. Oh, take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away. But at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four <laughs> or five years there, too. Superstar Two status is not in the, the cards game. for you. On the, golf <laughs> the shot by Mikhail Luke, no good. And the Warriors shooting just 42% so far in the game. Sharic down low. Brissett's there. Shots Dario good by Sharic. Fighting through the contact. Dario does a great job that time. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Pass to Brissett. A minute 29 left in the fourth quarter here. Shoots over Sharic. Brissett no good. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Celtics. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine Dario. it'll be any different. And they increase their win total to 29. We've come to expect big-time games from him. Just another day at the office for Kristaps Porzingis. Just active on defense, little things like clawing and scrapping and tipping passes and contesting shots. Came up with a lot of steals. Here's Mikhailuk. Robinson defending. Robinson with the block. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. The shot comes out. Now Boston takes it the other way. Back to Pritchard. 17 seconds Boston left in the fourth foul. quarter. And they call an illegal screen here. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. We got to see that one again. That block was all out effort. Oh, now that was a block. Some much needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Sixteen seconds left in the fourth. Pass to Sharich. Here's Robinson. And the 18-footer right on the mark. Robinson. And Sharic, just one of those European players that comes over with the fundamentals. Beautiful play there. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. They were just dominant out there. We hope you had well, now we have some time. time. You know, sometimes in these interconference rivalries, Greg, it gets physical and contentious. And I'm sure the refs have talked to both coaches about just that, Kevin, uh, keeping it clean. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few quick whistles to drive that point home. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Guard pair on the floor, it's Curry and Thompson. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Moody. And it's Green in at the center, filling out the middle. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Oh. 
Rebound, Boston. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. It's his first trip to the line. At the line for two. First one falls for him. And how exciting is Jalen Brown as a basketball player? This guy is a skilled forward who loves showing off that ability to dunk the basketball. And Brown drops them both. Guys, you think about the Boston Celtics, and obviously the offense is driven by the two Jays. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So much of what Boston does starts with their wing play. Let's it go from deep. A nice Moody. shot by Moody. Moody. Now, even with that shoot first mindset, Clay Thompson willing and able to make a great pass. Brown outside. Pass to Horford. Now, here's Tatum. Over Moody. Tatum, no good. And doors with Tatum and Brown. If they aren't scoring, they're creating for others. Yeah, both Jason and Jalen took major steps as playmakers, understanding the value of their teammates as release points, as guys who can take some pressure off in terms of the scoring load. And listen, neither guy has finished improving. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Curry passes it to Green. Good work defensively by Horford. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. Here's Brown. Can't hit that one. Good D by Thompson. Warriors have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Kaminga finds Curry. Golden State moving it around. Back to Thompson. And they call an illegal screen here. Beyond the lean, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you gotta love that energy. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Well, Kevin, Steve Kerr gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. He said the defensive key is to deny drives and big finishes at the rim. He added, that's where they're most effective, getting to the cup. If we want to win, we need to shrink the gaps and try to bait them into taking contested jumpers. And Kevin, of course, the tiebreaker in this season series is at stake. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. The Celtics with the lead. Holiday attacking. Great that time from Curry. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. How good is Green at drawing solid contact? He plays with a ton of heart. He's really good at making the defense commit. First trip to the line for him here. Green, two shots. good from Green. Well, you love just the versatility of Draymond Green's game. He can score it, he can pass it, he can board it, and we know he's one of the elite defenders in the NBA. And both free throws good for Green. 
We know some teams are stuck in the cycle of we think this is the year. We think we may finally get over the hump. And then the disappointment when it's not. And Kevin, here is the reality. Winning championships in the NBA is extremely difficult. You can, as a front office, put a roster together on paper and think, okay, we have enough talent to win the championship. And for whatever Moses, reason, Moody. the pieces don't mesh. And the other part of this, Kevin, is sometimes luck goes into winning. A poorly timed injury. A guy who asks out that totally came out of the blue. There are so many things that go into winning in this league. Al Horford is such a tremendous passer as a big man. Wow, does he get work done offensively. Here's Thompson. Unable to get that one. Now Boston takes it the other way. Just doing the job on the backboard. With the floater. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Well, the increasing strength of Jason Tatum is making it harder to knock him off his path. That is nice. And Kaminga throws it down. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Now here is Horford. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And the pass to Persingas. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Golden State ball. Curry passes to Thompson. Back to Curry. Pass to Moody. The tray. And the rejection by Tatum. Probably the most underrated aspect of Jason Tatum's game is his defense. Size, length, strength, you name it, sends that one back. The Warriors lead it. Thompson outside, kicks it to Curry. Passes it to Kaminga. Six to shoot. Moody the pass to Kaminga. And Boston with the rebound. Outside Holiday. Outside Brzingis. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Golden State's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. And Doris went healthy. Do you think Porzingis can still be an all-star caliber player in this league? Yeah, you know what, Kevin? I absolutely do. Porzingis very capable nightly of giving you 20 and 10. And at seven foot three, because he can space up and make jump shots, he is always valuable. The key to me is two things. Stay healthy and make sure you're locked in defensively. He can be a great shot blocker. I think he needs to lock in there. line for two. down the first one. Well, the pure shooting stroke is the first thing you think of with Klay Thompson. But I think as impressive is what he gives you on the defensive end of the floor. Klay Thompson is as hard a worker as there is in the NBA. Celtics making a switch here. White's checked in. And so he hits both. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Outside, Horford. Shoots over Kaminga. His first attempt of the game finds the target. Well, you like how confident Al Horford is, right? He is a great jump shooter from just about any spot on the floor. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Yeah, they were able to maintain focus in a hostile environment, and that led to taking shots that made sense. Well, I'm sure they're still enjoying that one. You love going into a tough building, tough place to play, and shooting the lights out. Nothing like silencing the crowd. Now, here's Thompson. He's someone who's a factor on any given night, averaging more than 22 points a game. Jacks up a three. Porzingis with the rebound. 
And so it's Porzingis. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by two. That evens the score. Tatum's got his second basket of the game. Well, off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his arsenal. Thompson surveying the floor. Porzingis with the steal. Holiday, the pass to Horford. Nice ball movement by Boston. And White kicks to Tatum. Shoots over Kaminga. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. Pass to Moody. Shoots the three. Doesn't go for him. Now the Celtics take it the other way. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Now here is Holiday. A 23-point game for him in the win against Charlotte. He was also an excellent setup man as well. This guy was cutting the defense to shreds with incredible passing. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Warriors trailed by four. Thompson outside. Now the pass to Green. Back to Thompson. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Boy, Clay Thompson doesn't get a lot of room from the defense, but able to power his way through. Great concentration. Pass to Persingas. Not going to go that time. Great T that time from Green. And Curry has it in the corner. To the paint. And stolen by Tatum. Over in the corner, White. Passes it to Horford. Shoots over Curry, and there's Horford. That's good on the assist by White. Horford's got six. You have to contest shots no matter where Al Horford is on the floor. That time, he's working the mid-range. And stolen by Horford. To the middle. Here's Persingas. Tatum kicks to Porzingis. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Celtics. Right off the bat, they're going after the ball. Looking to jump into the passing lanes and create some steals in transition. The other thing, I cannot be more impressed by the defense they've shown tonight. Their willingness to close on shooters, blocking shots, playing with great effort. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Here's Persingas, banked in off the glass. And now it's an eight-point Boston lead. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Curry looking around. Kuminga with it. He had 22 points in the win against Washington. Well, in addition to the scoring, he found ways to initiate contact from the defense and get himself to the line. The defense clearly frustrated trying to get a way to stop him. Now here's White after the miss from Stephen Curry. Here's Holiday. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Curry against Holiday. Green, the pass to Curry. Two points. That one goes. Well, that's just the phenomenal Assisted. touch of Stephen Curry in the painted area. Yes, he'll score there, too. And Holiday kicks to White. Tatum on the wing. One ten left from the first quarter of the game. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's White missing. Warriors trailed by six. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Pass to Curry. From downtown. Curry with another miss. 
And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't Warriors think it was a bad choice on that possession. When you are the aggressor, being assertive, very often you're going to get the whistle as Derek White did there. Celtics have gone two for two in the game at the line. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. We talk about high effort players. Well, Derek White embodies that very description. Always working hard, always looking to outwork his opponent. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Moody, and Chris Paul's subbed in for Curry. Good on both. There's 38 seconds left in the first. Bounce pass from Paul. The pass to Wiggins. Shot clock at six. Thompson from long range. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Well, nice play by Clay Thompson, one of the best shooters in the catch and shoot game. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Wiggins. The Celtics shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. At the line for the Celtics, Jason Tatum. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. What impresses me about Jason Tatum are his work habits, his commitment in the offseason to adding something else to his arsenal. We know he can play high-level basketball on both ends. The sky is the limit. And so Tatum nails them both. And here is Paul. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Over Holiday. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Now you love how Holiday can get in a guy's shirt defensively without fouling. Performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so Please give a big round of applause. Before and if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Golden State Warriors. Seven-point differential. Their next game is in Cleveland taking on the Cavaliers. And that's the final game of this five-game road run for the team. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. On the wings, Thompson and Wiggins. Tremont Green is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Paul in at the point. Here's Tatum following the basket by Tremont Green. And here's Brown outside. It's good from long range. Brown's got the lead up to eight now for the Celtics. Now Jalen Brown is now so legit from deep. Boy, you better make sure you're contesting that three ball. That's how good he is. Now here's Wiggins. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Off target with his three. Celtics leading by eight. second quarter and we're just over a minute in and it's good for two but this is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent nicely done here's Paul score the basket nice shot after missing his first attempt he plays with such an aggressive attitude even a sliver of daylight gets him to the rim and Chris Paul picks up the foul that's his first foul Paul first personal foul First team foul. Oh. 
A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Brown. Listen, we know Clay Thompson prides himself on being an exceptional defender. And guess what? He has the length and athleticism to do just that. Taken away by Holiday. Now the fast break. Tatum with the ball. And Drew Holiday. The bucket on the assist by Tatum. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Wiggins. After Drew Holiday's score, it's good. Well, Andrew Wiggins is a talented prospect. On the offensive end, he is as scary as it gets. And doors for teams trying to establish culture and institutional values. What makes that possible? How does that work? I think that begins from ownership through the front office and then down to the coaching staff and then finally to the players. But Kevin, we know this. It can't be just talk. Show me, don't tell me. You have to be accountable to your teammates and to the organization. That one misses for Wiggins. Well, getting to the line at will nowadays. Wiggins wanting to improve his free throw percentage. Tatum, that's for two. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Back to Paul on the wing, Wiggins. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got four rebounds in this game. Brown against Thompson. Takes it from 10. And it's Brown missing. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Horford against Thompson. Back to Paul. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Outside, Horford. Outside, Tatum. Just five on the clock. Puts it up from 12. Nice jump shot. Good got his third bucket of the night. Well, don't you love the way Jalen Brown is squaring up in the mid-range? This guy's getting his feet under him. His pre-shot preparation outstanding. Green, the pass to Thompson. Now, Wiggins. Back to Thompson. Takes the three. That balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Thompson's got ten. Well, really nice delivery from Andrew Wiggins. We know he's a gifted scorer, but that will really smooth out his game. Here's Holiday. No good that time. Great tee that time from Green. Warriors trailed by five. He feeds it to Kaminga. Back to Green over Holiday. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Wow, we're accustomed to seeing Draymond Green make the pass, but how about that catch and shoot delivery? Nice. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Stephen Curry's checked in for Wiggins. For Celtics Entertainment. And so Holiday will bring it up for Boston. They've led by as much as 10. This is to Tatum. Five to shoot. Good on the triple. He's got 11. Absolutely a threat. You've got to be on Tatum on the catch in three-point territory, or just like that, he will shoot lights out. Now, here's Kaminga. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. Green taking his time here. Thompson for the triple. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists tonight. 
And two more three-point field goals for him here in the second quarter. Somebody had better get a hand up. Horford finds Tatum. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Warriors trail by three. And during his rookie year, Jason Tatum faced off with LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals. G.A., think about what a hard-fought series that was. It went the distance to seven games for Tatum. An incredible test and growing opportunity. To me, that's part of the preparation this guy has received to becoming that franchise player. Here's Curry following the basket by Jalen Brown. And here's Green outside. Jalen Brown with the rebound. Brown's got five rebounds tonight. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, five for 10. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Ball against Holiday. Ball passes to Green. Ice D from Porzingis. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Tatum has worked very hard to improve his finishing game, and that includes sometimes taking contact and earning a trip to the foul line. First free throw is good. And so he's able to get one of two. Warriors trailed by eight. Kaminga. He can't get that one to fall. Nice D from Porzingis. There's the triple. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. He dishes it to Kerr. Thompson up top. Guarded by Tatum. Here's Curry. A rebound by the Celtics. Next game for him, they'll take on the Raptors at Toronto. It's game one of a three-game road trip. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. And he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. At the line for your Celtics, Jason Tatum. At the line with one shot. And that one falls for Tatum. Timeout called the Warriors. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Warriors trailed by 11. Pass to Thompson. To end the run. Horford with the rebound. The Celtics have gone 8 of 15 since we began the second quarter. Excellent shooting. Berzingis kicks to Holiday. Shoots over Curry. The shot by Holiday. No good. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Thompson in the corner. And he's good on the three ball. Thompson. Thompson's got nine points in the quarter. Three triples for him this quarter. Four overall. Curry against Holiday. Passes to Tatum. Six on the shot clock. Goes up from the top of the key. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You gotta keep getting him touches. Pass 
pass to Kaminga. Launches a three. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Brown feeling out a bit. And the call is going to be. Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. Missed cue there. Haven't had many of those so far, which is a big reason they're ahead. Austin making a switch here. White's checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Looney's checked in. Curry passes to Looney. He's covered by Brown. Thompson outside. Traps in the tray. Thompson's got 19 points. Three points. An, an amazing performance he's putting on from three-point range here in the second quarter. Right the pass to Persingas. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. The pass to Looney. Thompson outside over Tatum. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And now just a five point Celtic lead. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is can they ride him and get back into it? Two minutes remaining in the first half. Outside Horford. Outside Brown. Here's White. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. This is what we talk about with Derek White, doing a little bit of everything. Offensive rebound, put back, you bet. Back to Curry. 136 left in the first half of the game. He kicks it to Thompson. Got it, and the Celtic lead has been cut down now to just five on the bucket from Kaminga. As great as he is as a scorer, what we know unequivocally about Stephen Curry is he wants to find his teammates. Outside, Horford. Tatum down low. Working on Thompson. And the basket by Tatum. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Some solid defense from Brown. Celtics leading by seven. White, wide open. He fires. Curry with the rebound. Curry's got four rebounds in this game. Rzingis with the steal. Outside Tatum. And Horford wide open. He shoots. The Celtics get it back in a new 14. Tatum with another miss. Warriors trailed by seven. Down low. Looking to get back on track here. Rzingis with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Tatum gets the bucket. Well, do not let Jason Tatum get space in transition. He will make you pay. Now Kurt shoots over White. And the Warriors miss again. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. And so it's Boston in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're pounding. Please give a big round of applause. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. It was all Jason Tatum in the first quarter. He had 21 points, two assists, and three blocks. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Celtics. You guys know I appreciate when a team takes that commitment to attack in the painted area. You get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. That's how they built this league. And Kenny, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? They didn't shoot the ball very well. That's because they didn't have any flow on offense. I'd expect the coaching staff to make some adjustments in the locker room. They need to draw up some plays to get a good offensive win. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us.
Third quarter, just about ready to begin. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. And you know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. They trail by nine points. Up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. Brown out there with Holiday, and it's Brzingis in at the five down low. That's the Boston five. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. First team foul. The Warriors have shot 80% for the line tonight, going four of five so far. Taking two shots. Shooting two. That free throw good from Kaminga. Free throws good from Kaminga. Celtics leading by seven. Right wing. Horford kicks to Brown. Outside Holiday. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Curry's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Thompson. Taken away by Holiday. For the finish, and Holiday throws it down. And the best part of that sequence wasn't Holiday's steal, but his quick decision to push the ball and start the break. That's when the D's most vulnerable, and he took advantage. Back to Curry. Passes it to Moody. A three ball. Rebounded by the Celtics. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Tatum. Another shot, and the basket is good. Jason. Tatum's got the lead up to 11 now for Boston. That's a case where the reach of Jason Tatum comes into play. Understanding, let me go hit the offensive glass, and you get rewarded for it. Back to Thompson. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Outside Holiday. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Warriors trailed by 11. Here's Green. The rebound by Holiday. The Celtics have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Takes a three. That one doesn't drop. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. Curry passes to Kaminga. The rebound by the Celtics. Tatum's got rebound number eight now on the night. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that. Comes up empty down low. The Warriors have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. Curry finds Thompson. And a great assist Wayne by Curry Thompson. as that one goes in. Thompson's got 24. Well, their first basket in four tries. Can that trigger a little bit of good shooting here? We'll find out. Brown 
against Thompson. On the wing, Brown. 13 points in the game. Four on the shot clock. The three from Tatum. A three-pointer is right on target. Tatum's got five points now this quarter. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. To the inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. It's Brown on the wing. That shot off. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. To the right side. It's up a three. That's in and the Celtic lead is cut down to six and the bucket's for Moody. Moody's got his third basket of the night right there. Brown outside. Tatum dishes to Horford. On the wing, Holiday. Out to Porzingis. A three. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. That's to Curry. Here's Thompson. He's got 24. And play stops. Whoa, whistle on what looks to be an illegal scoop. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Tillman, he's checked in for Al Horford. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. And the dunk by Brown. How fantastic is Jalen Brown getting the position he wants deep inside. Easily slams it home. Now, here's Moody. He's got nine. That one, no good. Nice D from Porzingis. And battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. A nice shot by Tatum. You have to be willing to shoulder the offensive burden. I think Jason Tatum is built for it. Paul kicks to Curry. And the pass to Moody. Ball's not loose. Tatum looking around. And finished off by Brown. Boy, you get a real glimpse of the explosiveness of Jalen Brown. What a big time finish. Pass to Moody. Back to Paul. Uncovered. Jalen Brown with the rebound. Brown's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. The Warriors pull it in. Ball outside. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. When a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Charge comes in for Kaminga. And Wiggins is subbed in for Moody. Paul. Here's Tillman. No points in the game yet for him. Just five to shoot. Here's Holiday. The wheels have completely come off for him here in the second half. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Outside Curry. Paul for three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, pre-shot preparation is there. Chris Paul anticipating his teammates going to deliver it, and then he delivers on the make. Pass to Brock. Curry with the steal. Drops in the breakaway layup. Curry's got his second bucket of the night. 
Well that basket began with Steph Curry's defense. He's thinking one step ahead creates the steal and triggers the break. Here's Hauser covered by Wiggins. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. And what do you guys think First so far about foul. the offensive approach for the Celtics? And look at how aggressive they were defensively, forcing mistakes and turning those mistakes into points. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. And he knocks down the first one. He hits both from the strike. Warriors trailed by nine. And the call is going to be. Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. All you have to do is point to their turnovers this quarter. There's a reason the scoreboard looks like it does. Pritchard, he's checked in for the Celtics. Brown the pass to Hauser. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Wiggins. Now, here's Looney. He's guarded closely. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. And the Warriors take on two more. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Yeah, but in the first half, he was just purely flawless as a ball secure. But that certainly hasn't been the case here in the second half. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Celtics leading by five. Right wing. Celtics passing it around. Hauser the pass to Pritchard. They get a hand on it. Goes up again. Wow. wow. He got foul. whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. Ball. Third personal foul. Second team foul. Celtics have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Peyton Pritchard at the line for two shots. First free throw is good. So he gets them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, That'll help them seal the deal. Higgins outside. Pass to Looney. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Second team foul. The Warriors have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. Looney. The line for two. Huh? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw.
he's off on the second. They're not doing themselves any favors with their free throw shooting this half. Here's Pritchard. Got a piece of it. Paul with the steal. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Now, this is a comfort zone for Chris Paul. That mid-range game, time mm, you better guard it. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Over in the corner, Brown. And there's the pass to Hauser. Poked away and stolen by Wiggins. Inside, Looney. That's tipped. Here's the break. Brown wide open. He fires. Off target from outside. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1-3, but that was back in the first half. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Second personal foul. This is his first free throw of the game. And this season, he's maintained very good form at the line, shooting at about an 83% shot. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. free throw no good what we know about Dario Saric is that he entered the league as a high IQ player fundamentally sound and his skill set as a stretch four is absolutely in high demand in the league Derek White checked in for Boston Good on the second free throw. One fifty six left to play here in the third. Wiggins against Brown. And the layup's good off the glass. Brown's got 19 points. Jalen Brown thrives when it comes to scoring through contact. This is a guy who is constantly looking to initiate that body contact with the defense. At the elbow, it's Sharic. Wiggins surveying the floor. Let's it go. And that's good for two. Well, being a serve, Wiggins right now calling his own number off the pick and roll action. White bounce pass. Here's Pritchard, defended by Paul. And here's Brown, outside. Drills it from outside. Brown's got nine points now in just the second half. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. The real come at us and we're coming right back at you and you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays we've got 33 seconds left to play in the third kept alive and he converts the layup and the Celtics lead by six and, and they continue to control the glass 19 seconds left here in the third quarter. To the left side wing. Six to shoot. And they call an illegal screen here. Well, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Nine seconds left in the third quarter of the game. 
Brown outside. Fires from deep. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. The third quarter comes to a close. Celtics lead by six. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Guard pair on the floor, it's Curry and Thompson. Moody is out there with Wiggins, and it's Green in at the five spot. Porzingis can't hit. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Outside Curry. From deep. And Boston with the rebound. Porzingis has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And he drops it in from the low post. Porzingis. Well, this guy's got size and showing increasing strength. Kristaps Porzingis, nicely done. Thompson outside. Pass to Moody. Over Tatum. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got nine rebounds now tonight. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Yeah, this is the very definition of feeling it. Jalen Brown taking smart shots and playing perfectly within the team schemes. Wiggins passes to Moody. That balls. Ice Moody. feed that time Moody. from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his third assist on the night. Tatum on the wing. Right at the free throw line. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Wiggins finds Curry. Green against Tatum. Green passes to Moody. Wiggins trying to free himself up. Moses and it's in Moody. after a nice bounce off the right side. I think you can make a strong case that Draymond Green is the best passing four in the league. Unreal court vision. Two free throws Moses coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Draymond Green. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line, Jason Tatum. At the line for two shots. And that one falls for Tatum. Dominguez come in for the Warriors. And so Tatum nails them both. Warriors trail by seven. Curry kicks to Thompson. Passes to Moody. There's the three. They get it again. Green. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. I think he just has a knack for anticipating where the miss is going to come off the rim. Just a great read by Draymond Green. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's his first foul. And that's only his first miscue of the night. He's been unbelievably steady so far. Holiday against Kirk. And they get it back. And there it is for him. Draymond that gives him the double-double. Ten points and 14 rebounds. Draymond Green plays with power and with energy. Contact does not deter this man. Stolen by Thompson. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. Boston ball. And 
So Horford will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Tatum dishes to Horford. Nice ball movement by Boston. Poke loose. And the official said the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Yeah, that's sort of a picture of what not to do on those last two possessions. They're being way too loose with the ball. Not loose. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Thompson for three. And a great assist Please. by Curry as that one goes in. Three. Thompson's got 27. Oh, great ball movement there. Pass to Tatum. On the wing, Brown. He's covered by Thompson. Brown, good. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Here's Tatum. No good that time. The Warriors go the other way with it. Out to the right wing. Kaminga with a wide open look. Porzingis with the rebound. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Holiday against Kurt. Holiday gets the bucket. And the Celtics lead by four. A really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. Here's the pass to Kaminga. And the Warriors miss again. The Celtics have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Curry passes to Thompson. And there's the foul. It will go on Moses Moody. Moses Moody. That's foul number two for him. And really just a great foul. play to sacrifice his body foul. and take the charge. Boston leading by four. Time call time here. Time the time Celtics Boston. decide time to talk out. it over. For viewers, timeout's a, a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but... For the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for the guys during the timeout. He said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. Evan will see if they can make that adjustment. Thank you, David. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And Kuminga throws it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. the rebound goes to the Warriors. Moody the pass to Kaminga. And here is Moody. Curry outside. Carries it from three-point range. Curry. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Curry passes to Thompson. Back to Curry. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. The kick out to Tatum. Plays it up off the glass. Tatum's got four points this quarter. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Outside green. Pass to Moody. A fadeaway. And the Warriors take on two more. 
Uh, assists assist. like that have typified Redmond. their everyday Green. terrific ball move. Tatum kicks to Horford. This is it to Brock. Stolen by Thompson. By himself. And it's Thompson with the jam. Uh, Clay Thompson has a reputation as a long, tenacious defender. This guy excels at realizing when to go for it. Pass to Horford. It's Brown on the wing. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Jonathan Kaminga, Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. You have to have the ability to force the defense to commit one way or the other. Jalen Brown's aggressiveness does just that. Free throw good from Brown. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. And Brown drops them both. Golden State's gotten three of their six three pointers to fall here in the fourth. Curry passes it to Moody. Thompson for the triple. That one misses. So the Sonics will take it the other way. Here's Persingas. The dish to Horford. And Holiday kicks to Horford. Shot clock at six. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Here's Brown with the three. Warriors with the rebound. Curry's got six rebounds now in the game. Kaminga, you know, he rips it and jams it right over Przingis. Wow! I think you simply have to admire the way Stephen Curry distributes the basketball. His vision, his court awareness is simply insane. Here's Przingis. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. Embrace the spotlight, KP. Delivery in a big moment for Porzingis. Back to Curry. The pass to Moody. Tipped away. At the elbow, Green. On the wing, Thompson. Shoots over Brown, and it's Thompson that time. On the assist by Green. Green's got six assists now in the game. And out call the Celtics. Clay Thompson with a strong contribution so far in this one. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point okay, range. Man. They've got to dedicate more Need resources to their feet, perimeter man. D. Get up on your feet. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Clay Thompson. And, Kevin, it, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Here's Holiday. Ask to Tatum. Outside Holiday. Passes it to Horford. Just five on the clock. Top of the key jumper, no good. Warriors leading by three. Here's Kaminga. Good on the three-point shot. Kaminga's got seven now in this quarter. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second person. Even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. No adjustments made by the other team, and they couldn't defend against the speed of this group. They've been running over them in this one. 
I think it's also important we have to acknowledge how many scoring opportunities they've created from their spectacular defense, getting a bunch of points off turnovers. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. And so Brown will bring it up for Boston. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. That one good for two. Brown's got 32 points. Well, how about Jalen Brown showing us his touchdown low? Skilled at getting high percentage shots in the paint. Thompson kicks to Kirk. And a miss there on the triple. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Really left alone that time. Now it's just a three-point warrior lead. With experience, skill, and ability, Holiday makes for the perfect go-to scoring option. And again, no good by Golden State. Boston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And it's Brown missing. Warriors leading by three. Thompson passes to Curry. Fifty-eight seconds left here in the fourth quarter. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off. He just didn't get there quick enough. At the line for the Warriors, Stephen Curry. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Right on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Almost automatic shooting free throws. Steph Curry, no one I'd rather have in this spot. So he goes two for two at the one, and it's a five-point game. Yeah, two-possession game now after knocking both of those down. And the Celtics shooting 47%, pretty solid. Thompson against Brown. Over Thompson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Thompson. That one on Thompson. Don't you love how physical Jalen Brown is? This guy is not afraid to draw contact. Jalen Brown at the line for two shots. Drops the first one, and that shrinks the margin to just four. Possession ball game, down the stretch, always plenty of pressure. Now can Jalen Brown knock down a free throw? And Brown drops them both. And that would have been a killer if he missed one of those, but he was rock solid. That trims the lead now to a one-possession game. Curry kicks to Thompson. Pass to Green. Back to Thompson. There's the triple. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Thompson's got 34. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by six. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Uh, they need a quick basket here. Well, preferably a three, right? If there's a clean look, take it. Here's Brown. Busted. No good that time either. And so they choose to intentionally foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Third team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Stefan. Curry taking two shots. Shoot two. Two. 
And so the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Well, Stephen Curry is wildly popular as an NBA player, and I think there's a few things. Number one, he's a dynamic scorer, fun to watch, and he plays with an infectious joy for the game. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Faint looking very thin now, Greg, with very few ticks of the clock remaining. They will need something special to happen, and it needs to happen fast. They get it back. So we see the Warriors get the win here. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and coming up with the mental toughness that this group showed, they, they were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Oldham, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K And here in the middle of the season, these teams really coming into their own right now. They found their identity and know what they're all about, Grant. Well, oftentimes, that's what happens. I mean, these guys have had the time to gel and get to know how they like to play. And at this point, it's all about going out night after night and just executing. The starters for the Golden State Warriors. Curry and Thompson pair up at the one and the two. Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Green. And it's Moody in at the small forward position. Now here's Curry. Back to Thompson from deep three-point range. Not going to go that time. And the Celtics going the other way now. Coming off a win against the Hornets. And most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inward, trusted each other, and made good plays. Even with all that noise, when they had the ball, it never rattled them. Their offense was in tune like it was a home game. And that one drops for him. This is the energy that Green provides. Just flat out refuses to give up on any play. Pass to Brown. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Horford for three. And the three-pointer goes. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Pass to Moody. Right side green. Six on the shot clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Not exactly what they're looking for out of the gates. Just one of four shooting. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Porzingis. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And the Boston Celtics are one of the most decorated teams in all of sports. Think about all the rings they've won, as well as the talent that they've had on their roster. line for the Celtics, Christoph Porzingis at the line, shooting one. One shot. Such a rich history for the respected Boston franchise. From the days of Bill Russell to Larry Bird and Kevin McHale in the 80s, and then Pierce, Allen, KG, Rondo winning the ring in 08. The players on this roster understand how important it is to carry on that legacy. Brown can't hit. The Warriors have gone one of four to begin this one. The three from Curry. Called in by Brown. Just one for five. Not the start they were looking for. Obviously, there's still plenty of time to get on track. And Holiday powers it home. The unique perspective of a big. Porzingis has great awareness and the ability to easily find the open man. Pass to Moody. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Outside Curry. They need this. 
sinks that one after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. Left side Tatum. Over Moody. Again, Boston. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. The Warriors trailing. Here's Curry. The rebound by Jason Tatum. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Holiday passes to Brown. Oh, he can't sink it. He's 0 for 3. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. The Celtics have gone 5 of 8. Solid opening quarter for them. The shot, no good. Thompson with some nice D. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Now here's Holiday. A 23-point game for him and the win against Charlotte. And Tatum, here we go. And the shot goes. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Defensive foul. Moses Moody. Jason Tatum still so young. Ball. His game still Second evolving. Over the last couple years, he's been getting to the line, line more and more. Jason and that's Tatum. huge. Wiggins, that's he's checked in for Moody. One shot. Jason Tatum seeing his free throw attempts increase. What's that tell you, Richard? Well, it just tells me that he's playing with more intensity, but he's also playing smarter. Jason's using his athleticism to force the issue. Get to the easy points at the line. That's what your thoughts are. Now here's Curry. He's coming off a 25-point game against the Wizards in Washington. Brown passes to Holiday. Horford outside. Tatum drives in, shoots over Curry. Boy, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Tatum's got seven. Okay, okay, listen. Tatum can strike from anywhere. The mid-range is an open option for him at all times. Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Oh, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Brown can't hit. This has not been his best quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. Now here's Wiggins. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. When Curry gets a look that's good, he is automatic. There is almost no stopping him. Outside, Brown. Back to Holiday. Tipped away. Out to the right wing. Outside, Brown. Yes! Great play by Horford to set him up. He was cold, but that basket might get him going. One for six now. Wiggins outside. Three-pointer. Thompson shot is off. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Brown. Can't hit that one. Nice D from Thompson. And they're winning, but it hasn't been because of him. He can't throw it in the ocean so far. Pass to Wiggins. Who oh, drains the 19-footer. And this team wants Wiggins to be assertive on offense. And it's so good to see him looking to score. Back to Holiday. Now Brown. Jacks up a three. And the Celtics another three. Guys, is just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Wiggins finds Curry. Right side, Kuminga. Here's the three. Drops in the three. Timeout, timeout. Just great awareness from Curry. So good at reading the floor and so finding good. his open teammates. Timeout called. The Celtics. All right, fans, give it up for Celtics Entertainment.
And let's have a look at the current NBA scoring leaders. Jason Tatum, fourth. He's proven to be an essential part of their offensive efforts, always playing hard on that end and ensuring they come up with points. Boston's gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. And here's Holiday. His offense has been fantastic, averaging just over 17 a game. Outside, Brown. Three-pointer, no good. That's his shot, and one I'm sure he wants back. Curry passes to Kaminga. Back to Curry. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. Warriors. Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans. But they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost control to contracts sure helps. That one misses. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. Good on the second one. The Warriors have gone 7 of 16 so far. Curry passes to Thompson. to Curry. Charity stripe shot. And there's another one for the Warriors. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. Horford against Kaminga. Horford can't hit. The Warriors trailing. Thompson with it. Now guarded by Brown. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. From deep. He drains it. Made half his shots. He's 5 for 10 now. That is the sharpest weapon in Curry's arsenal. Most times you assume any three-point shot he gets up is going in. Porzingis passes to Brown. Shoots over Thompson. They get it back. Horford. Excellent D there from Kuminga. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniff that one out. Outside Curry. Wiggins passes to Green. To the inside. And stolen by Holiday. Pass to Tatum. This one for three. Oh, they get a hand on it. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Kaminga finds Thompson. Curry against Holiday. And here's Wiggins. Launches it. And the foul called on Draymond Green. That's his first foul of the game. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. Third team foul. Warriors substitution. Boston has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Pass to Tatum. On the take. And it's Stephen Curry with the rebound. And for the Warriors, they're shooting a solid 50% of the opening quarter. And this is what Paul Jonathan is known Kuminga. for. He is a shrewd distributor with a pass-first mentality. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Holiday against Paul. And he lobs it up top. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Outside, Green. Back to Curry. Wiggins outside. To the left wing. Six to shoot. 
Here's Paul. Again, the Warriors score. Even in the later stages of his career, Paul's handles remain incredible. He's got that thing on a string. What a move. Outside, Brown. Back to Holiday. 107 left in the opening quarter. Outside, Porzingis. Austin, no good that time either. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Wiggins outside. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Third team foul. Substitution for the Warriors. Number two. Paul against Holiday. Paul passes to Kaminga. Tatum with a steal. There's 38 seconds left in the first quarter. Two points. That one goes. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Pass to Wiggins. 23 seconds left in the first. He shoots. Nails the wide open jumper. And making the extra pass. Wiggins' teammates appreciate his willingness to get it to them when they're uncovered. Holiday with the ball. Shoots from 12. Second shot opportunity. Goes up again. And Porzingis with a layup. Porzingis has got five points. I love whenever Porzingis hits the offensive boards. He has the height needed to hurt defenses in this regard. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Golden State Warriors. Torching the Nets. Hitting four from distance that quarter. We'll be right back. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. And as long as the threes are dropping, you've got to keep launching them. Here's Paul. Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Drew Holiday out there with Jalen Brown. And it's Porzingis in at the five. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Here's Moody. No good from outside. Now Holiday. Pass to Tatum. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second. It's going to go on Draymond Green. I love how Tatum commits to his shots. A foul won't stop him from getting an hand. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Huh? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And it's tied up with that one. Grant, it's a shooter's league, and we're seeing more and more big men float out to the perimeter and knocking them down. Well, B.A., the game has evolved, and the shooting, particularly from the bigs, is fantastic. But, you know, I wish the bigs had a little bit more diversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Pass to Moody. Outside Kaminga. Five on the clock. Drills it from deep. Kaminga's got his third basket on the night right there. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Outside Brown. Outside Holiday. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Moody. 
Kuminga against Horford. Paul for three. He drops it from range. Paul. Paul's got five now. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Paul against Holiday. Now Horford. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Warriors. And with balloting underway, a chance to check out the leaders in the All-Star voting. Well, it's so interesting to see where the players stack up right now. You look at Brown. If voting ended today, he'd be a starter, sitting fourth in the Eastern Conference. And I hope it stays that way. He's just been fantastic this year, and I believe he deserves to start in the East. It's shaping up to be a terrific All-Star weekend. More news to come as we receive it. Here's Moody. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Horford. In his last outing, eight points for him. Tatum, shot is good. The efficiency from Tatum on the offensive end is terrific, not letting any scoring chances pass him by. Pass to Moody. Back to Paul. Green against Porzingis. Left side, Green. Takes the three. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got his fourth rebound in this one. And it seemed wherever Horford has gone during his career, his teammates really enjoyed playing with him. A testament to his leadership. Outstanding move in the lane. Just enjoy that one at home, folks. No doubt, with some huge elevation on the finish. Moody misses. For Boston, they've gone three of three to begin the second. You can tell Horford's teammates look up to him. He's an accomplished veteran with a lot of experience and knowledge, Richard. Yeah, he's just so selfless. The kind of guy who actively tries to make his teammates better. Just a terrific blue guy. Tatum can't hit. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Here's Paul. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Paul. And the level of activity these guys bring to defense is special. Here are the league's leaders in steals. Drew Holiday is second. And he's such a plus defensively for his team. Those steal numbers scare opponents and lead to fast break buckets. Now here's Tatum. A 35-point game for him in the win against the Hornets in Charlotte. And he made a living at the line as well. Got there over and over and did some damage. Golden State has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Pass to Moody. Here's Kaminga. Inside. And he dunks it down. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Oh, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect Moses, position Moody. to alter that shot. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Holiday passes to Brown. Got a piece of it. Shoots. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Paul. Puts it up from 15. That shot missing. And Boston going the other way now. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Raptors at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. It'll be the start of a three-game trip on the road. The three. Tatum pulls it in. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Got it. Good job in the low post. Tatum's got 16 points. What muscle on that finish. It's hard trying to prevent Tatum from converting. Paul passes to Kaminga. Outside Paul. His shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. 
See, it's the accuracy of Paul's shooting that makes the mid-range look easy. He can take that shot all night. Timeout called. The Celtics. And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Tillman's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Brown. Now that we're into the new year, how about a check on the Eastern Conference standings? You look at Boston, right now sixth in the conference. They want to keep improving. Well, for the Celtics, they've stayed within arm's length of the conference leaders. That in itself is an accomplishment at this point in the season. But it's something we expected. This team was built to compete with anyone. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. First team foul. At the line for the Warriors, Chris Paul. Two shots. That's good from Paul. The thing I love about Chris Paul is that he is so focused on making his teammates better. Every team would love to have a floor general like that. Paul hits them both. Boston trailing. Outside Holiday. Outside Tatum. There's the drive. Pass to White. Here's Tillman. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot from 12. Kept alive. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Andrew Wiggins. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. Shooting two. And he drops the first. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line. 100% this quarter. And the Warriors making a switch here. Looney's checked in. That one falls. So he hits both of them. Trying their best to catch up. Can't fault their performance from the line, especially this quarter. Outside Curry. Pass to Green. Now here's Paul. There's the three. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists tonight. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. Now here's Holiday. He's got nine. Here's Tillman. Rebounded by Green. Green's got rebound number seven tonight. Looney passes to Paul. Knocks it loose from 11 feet away. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Pass to Tatum. Here's Holiday on target from about 13 feet. Holiday's got 11 points. Now the Warriors with it. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Thompson outside. And here's Curry for three. And the Warriors with another three. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three point shot. Boston has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Holiday against Paul. The jump hook. The shot by Holiday, no good. The Warriors shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Let's it go from 14. Again, the Warriors score. This quarter has been all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hands. Pass to Tillman. 
White on the wing. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Porzingis misses. And here are the Warriors now. They're on a 19-6 run. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the Boston Celtics. On Saturday, they kick off a road trip in Toronto, where they'll take on the Raptors. Then on Monday, they'll go up against the Magic in Orlando. This road stretch could be rough. They just haven't executed at all away from home. So they're going to have to figure out those problems and figure them out soon. And he makes a first. I don't even think he had one free throw before halftime, but he's making up for it here in the second. Ball hits them both. Yeah, they're playing Boston a much more physical game here in the second quarter. And Boston calls time here. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. On the wrong side of a scoring here we run here, we might see a lineup change. Well, I'll, I'll be pretty curious. Celtics Entertainment. teams that have made a difference with their defense in the past 10 games in third the Warriors well over these last few games they've been putting excellent pressure on the ball handlers and then turning those forced errors into easy points pass to White here's Tillman he's averaging about six points per game White with it To stop the run. And almost gets it to go. So he'll shoot two here. Kevon Looney picks one up. And for people who didn't know about Derek White before last year's playoffs, they sure know about him now. He played big on the biggest stage. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. It's amazing how much energy White brings to the floor, Grant. You know, B.A., he has a passion for the game. He's tough, and he's very intelligent. He makes great decisions. He has all the tangibles you're looking for. And the Warriors making a change here. Wiggins is checked in. White hits them both. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Left side, Green. Tatum with some nice D. Boston has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Outside, White. Pass to Porzingis. Over Wiggins. And it's Porzingis that time. On the assist by White. Porzingis has got seven points. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Here's Wiggins. And again, no good by Golden State. Boston's gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Outside White. Pass to Porzingis. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Porzingis has got four points in the quarter. And after adding 16 pounds of muscle during the 2019 offseason, Porzingis handles contact so much better. Great finish inside. For Boston, they've gotten seven of 16 shots to go in the second. Wiggins against White. And no good. And Golden State will come the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. 
They defeated Washington in their last game. Yeah, they connected from outside all game. And the defense had absolutely no answer for it. And you talk to coaches around the league, and they'll tell you sometimes the ball just goes in. It's as simple as that. So it's Boston now, following the score by Golden State. There's 48 seconds left to play in the half. Here's Holiday. That shot off. Curry with some nice D. Drops in the layup for two. Curry's got 19 points. You think you may throw Steph off? No way. So focused. Pass to Porzingis. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. That's three buckets in a row off assist. The Warriors shooting a nice 57% rate from the field in the second quarter. Curry finds Green. And yep, it's good. And the Warriors lead by 13. Good luck against Green inside. Even when you throw contact at him, he just fights twice as hard. Outside Holiday. Driving to the basket. The putback. And so it's the Golden State Warriors in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. They just can't miss right now. Every shot they're taking, you assume, is going in. Back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He ended up with 19 points, five rebounds, and three assists. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? Well, they've shown a lot of discipline in the offensive end. It's not about getting the quick shots, it's about getting the quick shot. And if you want to know how that approach is working, you check out their physical percentage. And over to Kenny. What did you think about Boston? I felt they had a lack of intensity defensively. They gave up way too many threes. I mean, somebody needs to pull out the fire hose because this fire is out of control, and it certainly wasn't because of their defense. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? On the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for them. And then, of course, executing. I like how they came into this one with the game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. On the floor for the Warriors. Curry and Thompson pair up at the one and the two. Kaminga is out there with Moody, and it's Green in at the five. Curry, that's good. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Now here's Holiday. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. Here's Curry. And he gets the bucket. Curry's got 24 points. Understanding where he needs to be. Curry way out ahead that time. Outside, Brown. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit but he didn't get the call. About a minute played here in the second half. Holiday against Curry. A way better defender than he gets credit for, Steph Curry. The shot by Holiday, no good. Here's Moody. That shot, no good. Great D that time from Porzingis. Outside Tatum. 
Pass to Horford. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. And here's Brown for three. Fires in the triple. Brown's got nine points. You know this is coming with Brown. He is a ruthless sniper outside. Here's Moody. Back to Curry. And the officials Best will screen. call the Moody illegal screen here. here. You expect some fumbles with the ball. And overall, I think they've done a good job limiting those slip-ups. Boston's gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Curry against Holiday. Pass to Porzingis. Pocket four. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. Brown's got five points in the quarter. The mid-range is not an issue for Brown, and it's just another weapon in his arsenal now. Back to Curry. Unloads. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. Now a timeout called by Boston. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. He'll just keep hurting them from the three-point land if they let him. Here's a chance for Coach to change that. And now a look at the sharpest of shooters during the last month. Here are the three-point leaders among two guards. Clay Thompson fourth. And as a rule of thumb, you always want great shooters at the shooting guard position if you can get them. Now, these guys are the cream of the crop. And having a reliable three-point option at off guard, pretty much a necessity at this point in time in the league. Now here's Curry. He's got 24. You never want to foul Curry. He's pretty much the best free throw shooter ever. First team foul. At the line for the Warriors, Stephen Curry. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Think about the impact that Steph has had on this game. Him and his team have changed the way the game is played. They have ushered in the three-point era. And so Curry nails both of them. For Boston, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Holiday against Curry. The shot by Holiday, no good. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. Back to Curry. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. Remember, they had zero turnovers at the half. It's been a very different story so far since the break. Holiday against Curry. Pass to Tatum. Outside Porzingis. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And for the Warriors, they're shooting around 59%. They've been outstanding on the offensive end. Holiday against Curry. Thompson outside. Shot clock at six. Moody misses. Boston's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Horford in the high post. Kaminga's on him. Porzingis for three. Good. And it's Horford who picks up the assist. Horford's got four assists in the game. Pass to Moody. And here is Thompson. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You can get away with one once in a while. 
but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. You gotta blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Now here's Holiday. 11 points in the game. It's Brown on the wing. Defended by Thompson. It's good. Brown's got seven points for the quarter. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Things are firing on all cylinders for them right now. We'll see if they can keep it going. Here's Curry. He's got 26. Pass to Kaminga. Now Thompson. Back to Kaminga from the arc. Counted from distance. Kaminga. Kaminga's got 11 points. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. And they pick up two. And he's doing everything he can offensively to lift them out of this hole. But I'm not sure his hot shooting can do it alone. Well, you have to be impressed with the constant growth we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He's put in a lot of work to become an all-star player. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Pass to Holiday. Over Moody. Another one falls for Boston. And at this point for Brown. Do you think he's realized his full potential, Richard? No, I don't even think so. Especially when you look at his work ethic. He puts in so much time that I think he can reach another level. He's still young and eager to learn. If I were to put it in 2K terms, I think he could get up to about a 94, 95 overall. Hauser, he's checked in for Boston. Now into the lineup for the Celtics, Sam Hauser. Holiday against Curry. Holiday with the ball. He's got 13. Brown inside. Working on Thompson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Third person. Love the aggression from Brown. A tough cover for any defender out there. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Warriors. Line for two shots. Free throw good. Brown. And we've watched Brown blossom into a talented scorer, someone who's capable of shouldering that entire offensive load. Cornette's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Drew Holiday. Sharich checks in for the Warriors. Paul comes in for Moody. Hits both from the stripe. The Warriors leading. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. Oh, I'll be pretty curious. Give it up for Celtic Entertainment. Let's take a look at the Western for Conference Celtic. standings now that the new year is upon us. You look at the Warriors. A decent start to the season. They're seventh in the conference, but hoping to climb higher. Well, I think for Golden State, they've had some terrific moments this season. But where's the big leap upward that we've been waiting for? And the clock is ticking for them to make that push. It's looking like they'll be fighting for a spot in the play-in. Now here's Kaminga. 11 points in the game. Got it. Paul's got 20 points. No question, Paul is playing with real heart on offense. He is not afraid to carry the load. To the wing, right side. Outside, Porzingis. Outside, Brown. Out to the wing. Clock at six. Pass to Porzingis. That one's good from the corner. Porzingis has got 18. So smooth off the catch. Porzingis is excellent at judging when to take quick shots. Thompson outside. And here's Curry for three. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. 
three. Thompson's got six assists here tonight. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Now here's Porzingis. 18 points for him. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. From deep. Sharich down low. Man, good That's whistle there. Luke Cornett, first personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Golden State, Dario Sharich taking two shots. The first free throw is good. Looney's checked in for Kuminga. Both free throws, good for Sharich. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Boston has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Back to Brown. Outside Porzingis. Here's Pritchard. He's guarded by Paul. Pass to Brown. Launches a three. And again, Boston with the triple. And now with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. Outside Curry. Back to Paul. Thompson outside. From behind the arc. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Thompson's got his second basket on the night. The moment that last three went in, Thompson must have been thinking, get me the ball, I'll answer it with a three. Here's Pritchard. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And as recovery and injury prevention goes high-tech, Richard, many players are starting to wear the trackers to measure the wear and tear. Well, look, wear and tear, at the end of the day, players have more things to their access. It doesn't matter if you're talking about medical equipment, treatment, uh, doctors, trainers. So there's going to be wear and tear because that's professional sports, but more stuff today are, have been instituted to help the players recover faster and hopefully prolong their careers if they're good enough and the first one at the line is good standing at 7-3 we have never seen a player quite like Chris Stapps Porzingis a fantastic shooter a solid ball handler what a talent both free throws good from Porzingis it's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Golden Adjustments State. are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Well, you'd rather not put these guys on the line. The top free throw shooting teams in the last month. Fourth, the Celtics. And looking at last month, this team really got it done from the charity strike. Whenever you foul them, they made sure to make you pay for that mistake. Here's Paul. 20 points for him. Fires it from 18. Rebound Boston. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Here's Brown. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Brown's got 14 points here in the second half. Night in, night out. Brown just makes plays. Pass to Curry. And again, no good by Golden State. Boston has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Here's Pritchard. Warriors with the rebound. Paul's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Thompson. Looney passes to Thompson. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. 
Thompson's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Here's Cornette. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Ooh, that's his third three of the half after putting up a pair before halftime. Fantastic shooting display from him. Now here's Curry. He has 29 now. Right side, Paul. Outside, Curry. Just five on the clock. From downtown, hits the trifecta. Curry. Curry's got 32 Curry. points in the game. What a response from Curry. Got to know he's coming for his revenge. Back to Pritchard. Knocked loose. Charge against Porzingis. To the wing on the left. Here's Pritchard. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And here's Paul. Outside Curry. Pass to Sharic. Outside Curry. Paul with it. The three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Porzingis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's Brown. Ooh, the turnaround jumper. Count it. Brown's got 25 points in the game. In the second half, we've seen him refocus his shooting. Much fewer wasted possessions. Curry from deep three-point land. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. Boston's gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. It's Brown on the wing. Stephen. He's covered by Curry. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his third foul so far. So he didn't have his feet planted. Brown against Thompson. Outside, Brown. The shot, no good. And so it's the Golden State Warriors finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up. We'll be back in a moment. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. Xavier Tillman is out there with Al Horford. And it's White in at the one spot. That's the Boston Five. Tatum, good. Well, Tatum is the obvious option for the catch and shoot. He's such an efficient scorer. Thompson outside. Pass to Kaminga. Now, here's Green. Six on the shot clock. Banked it in off the glass. Green. So much focus inside from Draymond, even and while being hacked. Tatum with it. Defended by Thompson. Left side, Brown. That's tipped. Green, the pass to Thompson. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Brown with the steal. Pass to Tatum. Outside White. Back to Tatum. Five to shoot. Buries it down low. Tatum's got 21. Ooh, how about those nifty moves from Tatum? So crafty with the rock. Back to Paul. The three is up. 
And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. The Celtics making a switch here. Holiday is checked in. Moody's checked in for the Warriors. And so it's Boston with it. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Tatum passes to Holiday. On the wing, Tatum. Over Moody. Here's the second effort. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. Defensive foul. Moses Moody. That's his fourth personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Celtics. Jason Tatum at the line with one shot. And that one falls for Tatum. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. The Warriors leading. Outside Paul. Thompson outside. Releases. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got his fourth assist with that last one. Pass to Horford. Left side, Tatum. And he gets it to go again. He's connected on 10 of 15 now. How about the balance from Tatum? Absorbing the contact. It just doesn't matter. He takes it like a champ. And the Warriors call time here. All right, fans. Give it up for something entertainment. Porzingis has checked in for Tillman. The Warriors also with a sub. Curry's checked in. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. He pleaded with the guys to stay composed, saying, quote, don't try to be a hero out there. We practice these situations, and we've got to trust one another. If we do that down the stretch, we win this game. Go get it. Okay, thank you, Ali. Now here's Thompson. Kuminga's shot is off. Pass to Holiday. He takes it in. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Here's Curry. The three-pointer off the mark. And Porzingis launches it from deep. Boston again missing. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. And he makes it. Moses Moody. Boston has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. White on the wing from outside the arc. Boston again missing. The Warriors have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. And he lobs it up to the rim. White with the steal. Pass to Tatum over Moody. Boston again missing. And the Warriors shooting 55% for the game so far. Green. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Got to be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. A nice shot by Tatum. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Now here's Curry. For three, they get it back. Here's Thompson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on White. Clay isn't afraid to get physical if he feels like he can get to the line. Clay Thompson, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw is good from Thompson. You love Thompson's dedication to the game. He's dealt with some tough injuries, but he never stopped looking ahead. Always focused on making his return to the court.
12 free throws good from Thompson. The Celtics have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Back to White. Up top, Horford. Lots of room. And it goes straight through with a swish. You see the great fundamentals. Horford sets up for the quick shot off the feed. No hesitation. Curry passes to Green. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. The game of Green, it's about testing the defense, finding their weak spots. Shooting for Golden State, Draymond Green taking two shots. First one falls. A vocal leader both on and off the floor. Green plays with a real fire in edge. And so he makes both from the line. Now Holiday. This game is so close. One or two plays could make the difference. It's so imperative to try to make each trip count. Here's White. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Clay Thompson picks one up. Second team foul. At the line, Derek White. At the line for two. down the first one That misses, so he splits the free throws. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Pass to Curry. Here's Moody. Six to shoot. And here's Kaminga for three. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got six rebounds in the game. Down in the low post, it goes. Tatum's got 30 points. Now, what hard work from Tatum inside. Doing what it takes to find his shot. Back to Curry. Pass to Green. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Porzingis. Kristaps Porzingis picks one up. Third team foul. Shooting for Golden State. Draymond Green at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. Oh. 
and both free throws good for Green. The Celtics have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Pass to Horford. Thompson against White. Here's Porzingis. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Porzingis has got 11 in the second half. On the offensive end, Porzingis has been so dialed in, making the most of every scoring opportunity he gets. Outside Curry. The basket's good. Seven. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got seven assists in the game. I mean, no comment, but this is just unreal. Now here's Holiday. Up top, Horford. He's watched by Kuminga. Here's Porzingis. Plenty of space. The bank shot, no good. The Warriors have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Pass to Thompson. Here's Moody. Beyond the arc. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got rebound number 11. Yeah, no triples for him here in the second half. One fell in the first, though. Can he turn it up? Now here's Porzingis. Outside White. Nice D from Thompson. The Warriors leading. Now here's Curry. Pass to Moody. From 17. And he comes Moody. up with a bucket. Moody. Not all his mid-range jumpers are created Seven. equal. That's Three. one they'll take all night long. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Now here's Holiday. Shoots over Curry. And the basket by Holiday. On you know, top of the speed and power, Holiday makes good decisions. Right there, not forcing anything. Thompson passes to Kaminga. Here's Moody. Three-pointer. And they'll get another chance. Thompson against White. Shot clock at five. Thompson finds Curry. The three ball. Porzingis grabs the board. Austin trailing. Pass to Horford. Who poked away? Right side Curry. Well, we Boston might as well count those free throw shots. Yes, Curry is an automatic at the line. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for the Warriors, Stephen Curry taking two shots. Shooting two. And he drops the first. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Boston. So Curry nails both of them. Didn't get to the line in the first half, but since the break, he's been in attack mode. Great adjustment. Boston has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Tatum passes to Holiday. Rebounded by Green. And for the Warriors, they're shooting 52% from the floor so far. Here's Moody. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Kaminga pulls it in. Kaminga's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Curry. Thompson outside. It doesn't go for him. And Boston going the other way now. Left side Tatum. Kick out to Brown. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And we have to take another look at that block. 
Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. Timeout called, the Warriors. They're in front by six. A minute 39 left in the final quarter. It's time for some t-shirts. Make some noise, fans. Headed to the floor right now, it's something. I present our New Balance Player of the Game, Stephen Curry. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. You think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. A minute 39 left in the final quarter. Holiday against Paul. Oh, he hits that one. Eight for 11 and remaining a thorn in the D side. The defense looking lazy there. You can't allow Paul to get inside like this. That's just asking for trouble. Tatum inside. And here's Brown for three. Rebounded by Green. The Warriors shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Pass to Moody. Now Thompson. Kaminga with it. Down to five on the shot clock. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. And the Celtics call time here. They trail by eight. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. again for Suffolk Entertainment. Porzingis passes to Tatum. Tries again. And it's good on the layup. Tatum's got 32 points in the game. And if anybody didn't know, Jason Tatum has that killer instinct just coming out in a big way. Now here's Thompson. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throw now. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't gross, so leave it alone until ball. someone stops him. Just, just let him roll. Team ball. Shooting for Golden State. Play Thompson. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And that makes it a seven point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. And short of a miracle, they're walking out of here with a tough loss. They fought all night, a terrific effort, but they just couldn't make enough big plays. Talk about possessing the clutch gene. The big man, Horford, coming through in a huge way. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They're on top by five. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And an intentional foul right there. Jason Tatum, third personal foul. Team is in the penalty. Shooting for Golden State, Chris Paul. Oh, take a break. Taking take two break. shots. Two shots. So 
So the first one drops, and that increases the lead to six. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. I'm not going to lie, that's big, making all of those, giving them a little bit more breathing room. Boston calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. Give it up. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Your thoughts, guys? And time's running short. They just couldn't get over that hump. And I'm sure Coach is encouraging them to play to the final whistle. Then they can get out of here. To self-defense to Damon, everyone. Give them a hand. There's 18 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Over to the left wing. Here's Hauser. It falls! And now they trail by just four. Sam Hauser. 11 seconds left in the game. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. At the line for the Warriors, Gary Payton the second. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. And a tough break as his second attempt is no good at the line. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Can't connect from long distance. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. Paul taking two shots. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that increases the lead to six. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a seven-point game. And so it's Golden State winning this one. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. You know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And now let's check in with Art Alley. Good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that's going to do it tonight, folks. Now, Greg, that we're into the meat of the season. Are you seeing any emerging trends out there? For a few years, uh, the trend had been guys shooting from farther and farther out. But, Kevin, I think we're seeing a return of the big man, a, a more concerted effort to attack the interior. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Guard pair on the floor, it's Curry and Thompson. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Moody. And it's Green in at the five, home in the paint. And really, Brown is very talented at nearly shots, even while getting hit. What muscle this guy has. And he's got his first chance at the line here. At the line for your Celtics. Find the lane. Find the lane. At the line with one shot. Well, Brent, between major injuries and some high-profile roster turnover, it's been an up-and-down last couple years for the Warriors. Yeah, mostly due, Kevin, to injuries. I mean, through it all, they've managed to continue to play with joy. They've given a lot of guys opportunities to just be out there. And then 
they drafted and rebuilt the team behind the big three to complement those guys as they found their health. So the, the run is still there for Golden State to do great things. And, uh, winning a championship last year has them back on the top of the mountain. Here's Horford following the basket by Jonathan Kaminga. Crown wide open. He fired. Knocked away. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Horford, a big guy, and he knows it. So you got to use your size on the inside to keep plays going. Curry against Holiday. It's three on three on the fast break. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Brown outside. Top of the key. The Warriors pull it in. The D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. And he comes Clay. up with the deuce. Clay outworking the defense from... and letting that one go. Moody. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, I talked with head coach Steve Kerr. He told me, we have to play really good interior defense. We know they want to get to the rim. We know that's the game plan. So we've got some tactics to keep them from doing so. Guys, we will see what they came up with in the lab. Okay, David, much appreciated. And here's Thompson following Jalen Brown's three. Coming of the pass to Kirk. Now, here's Moody. Guarded closer. Al Horford, first personal foul, first team foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Moses Moody, two shots. He throw good, Moody. Both shots good from the strike. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And Holiday kicks to Horford. Pass to Tatum. On the wing, Holiday, guarded by Kirk. The shot by Holiday, no good. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. The game now Draymond all time. Green. Oh, that's a tough one there from Draymond Green. As tough as they come. Holiday looking over the floor. There's Brown with the three. It's not going to go for him. The Warriors go the other way. Horford against Green. Pass to Thompson. Beyond the arc. Rebound Boston. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. So they knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. Yeah, and talking with the coaching staff, they said in that game, they did a great job of not settling. Keep working the ball around, finding the best look. Let's see if they can keep that up. Here's Moody following the basket by Kristaps Porzingis. Green passes to Curry. Kaminga kicks to Thompson. Just four to shoot. From downtown, and that's good. Stephen Curry for three. And this is three what points. you think of first with Curry. His three-point shooting ability is just otherworldly. The pass to Brown from deep. It's rebounded by Curry. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. And sitting out for over two years due to devastating injuries. It is so good to see Clay Thompson back on the court. I love it. And he's been so competitive with himself to fight through this injury and also to, to regain that form. There had to have been a lot of questions with you know, over 900 days off. Can I get back to that level? 
And I believe that he wasn't even fully healthy during the finals. So we see a, a more confident play this year. Did, did it feel like Porzingis knew there was a defender there? Man, he just brushed him off. Passes it to Kaminga. Outside curve. And it's off from three-point range. Austin's gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Here's Porzingis. Again, the Celtics good for two. Nice shot selection from Porzingis that time, looking the fire. Curry passes to Thompson. Here's Moody. Over Tatum. Moody's shot is off. Celtics leading by three. Up top, Tatum. Guarded by Kerr. Brown outside. Back to Horford. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Thompson outside. Pass to Kaminga. Now, here's Moody, guarded by Tatum. And again, no good by Golden State. And Zahorford will bring it up for the Celtics. Three-point lead. Now, here's Brown. He had a 30-point outing their last game against Charlotte. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. His assist totals show you what a fantastic all-around effort it was. Assisted. And the one-hand slam Moses. just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Two free throws Moses. coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Moses Moody. Nice job First by Tatum inside. Foul. Very assertive. He's fantastic at putting the pressure at the on the D and consistently Tatum. getting to the line. Celtics have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he hits the second from the line. And you know, Jason Tatum is one of those guys who can really do it all. Uh, he's got a versatile skill set that makes him a constant threat on both ends of the floor. Now, here's Thompson. He's someone who's a factor on any given night, averaging more than 22 points a game. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. He got burned on that one. And look, he's not the best athlete, but he's able to create the space he needs to operate. That's to Thompson. Now here's Kaminga. Outside Curry. A three-pointer off the mark. And even without that three-ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Holiday gets the bucket. Drew's got such a great build. 205, 210 pounds, a bigger guard. Hard to knock him off of his shot. Now here's Curry. He's coming off a 25-point game against Washington. Clearly second foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. First one falls for him. And Curry still feels like he has a ton to prove. That is championship fiber. That drive helps elevate his game. Tillman, he's checked in for Al Horford. Paul's checked in for the Warriors. Oh. 
off on that one so he goes one for two at the line. The Celtics have gone 8 of 15 from the field shooting above 50 percent here tonight. Brown and finished off by Brown. Unselfish play by Tatum. Getting it to a shooter in rhythm instead of chasing his own shot. For the Warriors they won their last contest that game against the Wizards. The pass to Thompson. Back to Paul. This one for three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Got to make a decision quick sometimes, and Chris Paul does that on the catch and shoot. Brown outside. Out to the right wing. Outside Holiday. Passes it to Brown. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Curry kicks to Paul. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First, first he goes on Jason Tatum. And Chris Paul, when he gets into those tight spots, he becomes pretty smart in there. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Boston. Right away, they showed us they weren't going to shy away from the mid-range game, and it's proving to be an effective tool for them. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. Well, Brent, Chris Paul is undoubtedly one of the smartest players in the NBA. And, and that's why he's been able to maintain such a high level of play for so long. As one of his teammates said, he has an IQ that's going to keep him on the floor until he's 50. And so Paul nails both of them. Not much more you could say about CP3. Name a better floor leader. There's not one. Brown, good. Brown's got 10 points in the game. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Pass to Thompson. Golden State moving the ball around. And here is Kaminga. Curry outside. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Here's Tillman. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Outside, Brzingis. Five to shoot. Outside, Holiday. Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Thompson outside. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Right now, let's take a look at some numbers. Chris Paul. And he's in the top 20 in steals, bringing that focus and intensity at both ends. And his floor awareness is undeniable. As you pointed out, top 10 in assists. And he's great at drawing the defense and making the perfect pass in stride. Now, here is Holiday. He really played well in that last game against Charlotte. Two minutes. Paul outside. Pass to Curry. We've got 148 left here in the first quarter. Paul kicks to Thompson. And the foul called on Xavier Tillman. That is his first foul of the game. And the Warriors making a change here. Looney's checked in. The Warriors. Kevon Looney. Forty-four and left to play in the first quarter. Thompson misses. Boston trailing. Outside, Brzingis. And the pass to Tatum. Fires the three. The shot comes out. The Warriors go the other way with it. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Remarkable consistency from D. You can't count on that every game, especially on the road. Yeah, the interesting part was they kept firing away in that game, but the defense didn't make much of an adjustment. So it's Boston now, following the score by Golden State. Kicks to Brown. 
Tatum against Thompson. For Zingas. You can hear the coaches from the sideline saying, stay down. You can't fall for the pump fake, but for Zingas, adept at it there. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far, they are hitting at a high clip. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. And the first one drops. And I still think, even after a few seasons, that Porzingis has a focus to continue to get stronger physically. And both free throws good for Porzingis. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line and when he's on he can be lights out. Pass to Thompson. Here's Kaminga. He kicks to Paul. Three pointer. And Boston with the rebound. Tatum's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Holiday. A second chance effort. It's rebounded by Paul. And it's Paul with the ball for the Warriors. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. That's a whistle he did not second want to hear his foul. second foul. And we're not even out of the first quarter. The Warriors have shot Shooting five of six at the foul game. line tonight. Jonathan Kaminga, two shots. First one falls. Both good from the line that time. Yeah, and trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. Brown outside. The three. Hits it from three-point range. Brown's got 13 points. And you gotta love how seriously Brown takes his ability to score. He has the green light to fire from just about anywhere. The end of the first quarter. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Warriors lead by one. We'll get things started in the second quarter. Fans, please give a big round of applause. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stats wise? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When you do it, that's the kind of thing that happens. And you hear the term point forward. But then, Greg, you had Magic Johnson, 6'9", but still a point guard. So what's the difference? Uh, well, when you talk about a point forward, it's someone whose versatility extends to their playmaking. And Magic is the rare talent who redefines the point guard position. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Sliding over to the wing spot, it's Curry and Thompson. Kevon Looney out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Paul in at the one. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Paul surveying the floor. That's tipped. Looney passes to Curry. Lock at six. Shoots over Brown. And it's Golden State with another. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Tatum kicks to Horford. play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. The three is good and he got fouled in the active shooting. This could turn into a four point play. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. The Celtics shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Green he's checked in for Looney. At the line Jalen Brown at the line shooting one A 
second free throw good from Brown. And the vertical that Brown has is pretty impressive, as relentless a finisher as you'll find in our league. Pass to Thompson from outside the arc. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Brown kicks to Horford. Boston again missing. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. There's Kaminga. Three pointers off the mark. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Holiday. Goes back up. That shot off. Great T that time from Green. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. throw good green and the fire that Draymond Green plays with I think is the most admirable quality he knows how to get himself and his teammates going throughout the course of a long grinding 82 game season here's Thompson great D that time from Tatum that's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates don't think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups The Celtics have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. And Holiday kicks to Brown. Like it when your superstars still make attentions to detail. Being active on D right there and not allowing the shooter some space. Holiday against Paul. Green deciding where to go with it. And Chris Paul, the bucket on the assist by Green. Assist goes That's to seven points for Chris Paul. You talk about a back and forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring wise, keeping everybody on their toes. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. The Warriors making a switch here. Wiggins is checked in. Back to Holiday. Pass to Persingas. Over Green. Nails the baby hook. Persingas has got 10. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Curry dishes to Green. Wiggins passes to Green. Kicks it to Kaminga. Hits the three-point bomb. Kaminga. Kaminga's got his third basket of the night. Now, Draymond Green patient enough to know when his teammates are running around. At some point, one's going to break open. Then he finds them. Outside, Porzingis. The shot's good. Brown making the play. 13 points in the game. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Wiggins inside the line. Here's Green. Nice D from Porzingis. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. And it's going to take more than that to stop Tatum, a wing who can score in so many different ways. A three-pointer, Wiggins, and another three for Golden State. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. And Holiday kicks to Horford. Now the pass to Tatum, 
and stolen by Wiggins. The finish, and Wiggins throws it down hard. Well, Wiggins, the theft, that starts to break. Boston's gone three or four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. We saw Andrew Wiggins take a big step forward when he went to Golden State in 2020. A lot of people think that's a subtle change, but I actually think it's a lot bigger. When you get a player of Andrew Wiggins' caliber who is born to score, and you adjust some of the shot selection and how offensively he's staying engaged, that's a big difference both physically and mentally. It's been a big uptick for him along with his defensive presence. Derek White checked in for Boston. And Wiggins is a capable passer, someone that wants to hit a guy in the right spot. Now a timeout called by Boston. Giving up a run here, can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Still a ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. Take a look at Thompson. He's got a place in the three-point contest within his reach. I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. He's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that. He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And we'll keep you posted as we find out more and as we get closer to the three-point contest once we have our final list of official contestants. Yeah, it's going to be very competitive. That, that's the one thing we all know. We, we've got an incredible group of long-distance shooters in this league right now. Warriors leading by four. Here's Paul. Rebound, Boston. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Horford the pass to Tatum. Can they get it? Second shot opportunity. Andrew Wiggins grabs the board. Golden State's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. And it's sent back by White. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by White. And a look now at the Celtics' upcoming schedule. On Saturday, he'll be playing against Lou Williams and the Toronto Raptors. Then on Monday, they'll go up against the Magic in Orlando. And, you know, nobody loves playing yeah. on the road, but it does offer a good chance Number to two. see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. It's stolen by Brown. In the corner, Tatum with it. Drains it from beyond the arc. Tatum's got five points now this quarter. But Porzingis showing some passing ability that time. Instincts are there. Passes to Wiggins. Here's the teardrop. He can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Horford. Tatum passes to Porzingis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And at his size, Porzingis needs to try to do that more often and take advantage of matchup problems. The Celtics shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. At the line for two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Well, a big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. The baseline J buries the jump shot. Paul's got nine points. Anytime CP3 gets inside the three-point line, or especially inside the top of the key, he's an immediate threat. Horford finds White.
five on the clock. Takes a three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got seven rebounds in the game. Back to Paul. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And Kaminga throws it down. Chris Paul came into the league playing unselfish, continues to do so. What a dime. And White kicks to Horford. Pass to Tatum. Pass to Brown. To the paint. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Their next game is in Cleveland, taking on the Cavaliers. That will conclude a five-game road trip for them. It's hauled in by Brown. Celtics trailed by three. There's the pass to Persingas. Can't get the reverse layup to fall. Golden State's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Yeah, we know he's undersized for the position, but Draymond Green does the work of several men, including how he forces the D that time to foul. This is his second trip to the line in this one. An okay season at the free throw line for him so far, sitting right around 76%. First free throw is good. Moody's check in for the Warriors. Both free throws good from Green. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Tatum deciding where to go with it. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to two on the bucket from White. Yeah, they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. Timeout, timeout. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Wiggins, and it's sent back by Horford. Well, a level of engagement that Horford brings on the defensive end every night is impressive. Terrific block there. Back to Tatum. The shot's good, and the assist by Horford. Tatum's got eight here in the quarter. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Wiggins left side. Paul outside. He can't get that one. White with the defensive effort. Two minutes. Brown drives in. Makes it off the glass. Now it's a three-point Celtic lead. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. There's a minute 40 left in the first half. To halt the run. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And taken away by Paul, Tatum finds White. And White slams it in. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question timeout, timeout. who has the momentum now. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. Timeout called the Warriors. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate. 
with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. Yeah, and Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And dropping the sledgehammer there, he curbs a 10-0 run by Boston. Here's White. Goes back up. The shot, no good. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Kicks it to Thompson. Oh, good on the three. Celtics leading by three. Here's Tatum. Makes the shot. Basket number four this game. Brings him up to four for nine. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Thompson against Brown. Here's Thompson. Seven points in the game. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Golden State ball. From deep three-point range, Jalen Brown has been leading the charge for the Celtics. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll return shortly. 56. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. A tremendous game we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He ended up with 24 points, three rebounds, and one steal. It's easy to see the effect he's had on his teammates. He's been the catalyst for that. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? Love to see a team grind for those offensive teams. They're doing the dirty work and converting those extra possessions into points. It's got to be demoralizing for the defense at this stage. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the Warriors? Well, their bench production has been a major factor. The guys have been ready to go when their numbers come. And it makes the second half go a lot easier on your main guys when you can spread the minutes around in the first half. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. Headed to the floor right now. It's Second half of basketball promises. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. It's been a clinic out there by Jalen Brown. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. On out there with Holiday, and it's Perzingis in its center. That's the Boston Five. Here's Curry out to Thompson. Clock at four. Shoots over Brown. It'll go. The Boston lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Clay Thompson. Totally reactionary. Not even thinking about it. Clay Thompson playing with some confidence. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Thompson outside. Knocks it loose and taken away by Brown. Horford trying to free himself up. Thompson with the rebound. Warriors trailed by five. Green passes to Curry. Feeds it to Kaminga. Good on the bucket. And that's 15 points for Jonathan Kaminga. The vision Curry has on the floor. We've seen him put those goggles up from time to time. He easily spots a ready shooter that time. 
outside Horford. That one drops for him. Horford's got the lead up to five now for the Celtics. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Curry, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one is on holiday. Now just how smart and patient was Steph Curry on that play. Draws the contact after the pump fake. Another thing he does so well. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. Just over a minute and a half played here on the third. Brown outside. Passes it to Horford. Shot clock at five. And it's Curry with the rebound. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Green in the post. Guarded by Holiday. And that one's good. Green. You're not going to throw Draymond Green off his game. That's his job to do it to you. Staying focused there. He gets the contact and makes it. Outside Tatum. Pull from the top of the key. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Tatum's got 13 points. Warriors trailed by four. Curry pass it to Moody. Back to Curry. What's up a three? It's good. Stephen that basket is now Curry. five for nine. Well, I'm not sure what the coach said at halftime, but whatever it did, it's lit a fire. They're now four of four from the field to start their offense here in the second half. Outside Tatum. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Moody. It goes on Moses Moody. Baiting the defender into a foul. Tatum wants to get to the line where he has always been terrific. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. And the first one drops. So Tatum nails them both. Warriors trailed by three. Curry with it. He's got 15. Pass to Moody. Now Curry for the tie. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done but only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Here's Horford. And another miss by Boston. Golden State's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Kaminga, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Yeah, easy call. Second personal foul. Second team foul. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. 76% on the season Jonathan from the foul Kaminga. line. Two shots. Super two. And he makes the first. Yeah. 
and he can't hit the second. Celtics have gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Brown feeling out a bit. Plays it up and banks it in. Brown's got 26. And you got to respect how accomplished Brown is down low, destroying whoever is in his way. Back to Curry. Thompson outside. Let's it go from deep. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. Outside Holiday. Over Curry. And that one goes long. Golden State's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. For the lead. And Kaminga puts it in. Kaminga's got 18 points. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. The three from Tatum. Krill's the three-pointer. And the Celtics lead by two. Really as good as any passing big that we have in the NBA. Horford is a guy who can run an offense as a big. Pass to Kaminga. Goes up on the block. A shot missing. Good work defensively by Horford. Tatum drives in. And there are the Celtics with another master. And even back in high school, Tatum had the knockdown mid-range jumper. Time out, time out. We don't see that as much from him now, but he's still got that in his bag. Now a timeout called by Golden State. You look at Jalen Brown, what a contribution. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. Finds Curry. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got six rebounds in the game. Brown. It's rebounded by Golden State. Here's Green. Porzingis with the block. That's a forgotten skill as Porzingis able to get up there and throw that one away. He's finished top ten in blocks a couple of times. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Celtics. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's Find about the, the urgency Find they've the played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. And Green, no good on that one. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. A two-point game. And it's Brown missing. The Warriors have gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. And Thompson gets it to go. Thompson's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. How about Clay showing off his handle as he finds some open room to get to the score? Tatum on the wing. 
outside Holiday. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Jonathan Flamingo. Nice work to get First it inside and draw the contact. For Boston, ball. they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so at making the, line, the most of their chances. Drew Holiday at the line for two shots. Good from Holiday. Such a terrific two-way guy. Drew Holiday isn't just an offensive powerhouse. He loves to play defense. I mean, loves it. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Przingis. And it's Pritchard in for Jalen Brown. Kevon Looney is checked in for Golden State. Paul comes in for Moody. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Thompson outside. Back to Paul. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Paul's got 11 points. That's why Chris Paul is so special is because he can just navigate around pick and rolls, find open areas, and there's just no defense for that. Outside Tatum. And there's the pass to Holiday. Shot clock at six. Goes up on the high post. Count it. Good. Eight points for him. Really nice balance. Good base. Solid rhythm. Holiday can be effective when he's got that kind of stuff from the mid-range going. And Thompson kicks to green. It's three outside. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. Well, he now has four three-pointers this game, guys. Two in each half. He's really spacing out the floor for his teammates. Poke loose, and it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Sharich has checked in for Green. For the Warriors, Dario Sharic. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. Warriors on D. They lead by one. Six on the shot clock. Holiday inside the line. That shot missing. And Golden State will come the other way. And, you know, one of the unsung heroes of the Warriors championship teams Kevon Looney well, totally understands his role and a rotation guy who can start for you. But how much consistency did he provide in that 2022 season and championship run? This guy has battled some injuries, but he has always been reliable for the Warriors. And it's good. Two points. Cornett's got his first basket. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luke Cornett. Luke Cornett. That is his first foul of the game. Tillman, he's Luke checked in for Tatum. Coming on to the floor for the Celtics. Xavier Tillman. And Sharich kicks to Thompson. Passes it to Curry. Let's the three fly. And there's the call on Dario Sharich. That is his first foul of the game. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. And out called the Celtics. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. the Warriors on the break here's Thompson rebounded by Hauser well the D's so tight on him it makes him alter his shot 
And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Hey guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Outside Curry. Thompson surveying the floor. Back to Curry. Got a piece of it. Now Holiday, eight points for him. Pass to Cornette. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday. Holiday's got four assists now tonight. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Golden State Warriors. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Pass to Looney. Ball outside. Six to shoot. From 12 feet out. Rebounded by the Celtics. A minute 42 left in the third. Here's Hauser. And he banks in the lane. Now it's a four-point Celtic lead. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Outside Curry. Now the pass to Thompson. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Thompson. Thompson's got ten points here in the second half. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Here's Tillman. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Pritchard. And Curry pulls it down. Curry's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Another three for Seven. Golden State. Curry. It's been this way three. since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. The Warriors shooting on 57% from the field in the third. Passes to Thompson. Three-pointer. And the Warriors get it back. Off on the layup. Austin trailing. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Hauser, defended by Paul. The kick out to Holiday. Fires the three. A shot that time, not on target. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He nailed it from long range in that quarter. Winds up with a total of four three-pointers in the period. Don't go anywhere. We'll be... And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. Here we go, fans. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Clay Thompson is out there with Kuminga. And it's Green, then there's Stephen Kerr. Here's Brown. Great T that time from Green. The Warriors leading. And it's Kaminga that time on the assist by Green. Green's got his third assist on the night. And Holiday kicks to Porzingis. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. First Porzingis team. showing a little strength down low that time. You can't get upset at the D for being Porzingis. physical with him on that play. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them, and they're locked in, and with that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. And the Celtics making a change here. Horford's checked in. A 
And both free throws good for Porzingis. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. White covering. Pass to Thompson. For the three. Eight for 15 with that made basket. But he's not satisfied yet. Cutting into that deficit now. Well within striking distance. Yeah, just much sharper out there. You can see guys getting in tune. It's not about playing harder. Sometimes it's just about playing smarter. For Zingas. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. And Porzingis has shown us signs of a little bit of everything here. Scoring, skill, dominating offensively. Here's Kaminga. He doesn't hit that one. So the Celtics will take it the other way. White dishes to Horford. Back to White. The Celtics working the ball around now. Puts it up from 12. The shot by Holiday, no good. Now that's a shot right there. He's going to hit nine times out of 10. We just saw the 10% he doesn't make. And stolen by Horford. Pass to Brock. Inside. And the dunk by Porzingis. Not sure how he saw that there. Holiday with a firm understanding how to get the ball to an open teammate. Curry passes to Thompson. Outside green. Here's the three. Bangs home the trifecta. Three points. And the Warriors lead by four. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. To the inside. It's stolen by Green. Outside Curry. Outside Green. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, about Draymond rising up into the contact. He's a good offensive player who finds his way this time to get to the free throw line. Draymond Green at the line for two. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. Moody's checked in for the Warriors. And he makes both free throws. Celtics trail by six. Outside Tatum. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And he's done a good job of keeping control of the ball. Even with that turnover, you can tell his teammates trust him to hang on to the pill. Warriors leading by six. On its way from Curry for two. Bullseye. Curry's got 26 points. Well, right now, Steph is just toying with the defense, and it feels like he is the puppeteer in this basketball game. That bucket in in no time at all. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Holiday against Curry. Dishes it to Kaminga. The pass to Moody. No good there. Great D that time from Tatum. The Celtics have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Got that one up quick. And now just a three-point Warrior lead. And that's just tremendous confidence from Brown. Going up with the shot right away and giving the D no time to react. Nice shot by Thompson. Wow, he is lighting it up here in the second half. Passes it to Tatum. It's Brown on the wing. He's covered by Thompson. And it's Brown missing. 
And so Green will bring it up for Golden State. Pass to Curry. Now here's Moody. And here is Curry. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, but in the first half, he was just purely flawless as a ball secure. But that certainly hasn't been the case here in the second half. Holiday against Curry. Tatum on the wing. To the wing right side. Outside Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots. And good. He nails it. Holiday's got four points in the quarter. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Thompson finds Kaminga. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, Clay is going to draw that kind of attention, and that's going to open up opportunity. Outside Tatum. Outside Holiday. Shoots over Kaminga. Here's Horford, and a dunk by Horford. Pretty strong and physical that time from Al Horford on the inside. Warriors leading by three. Thompson outside. Pass to Moody. And the pass to Curry. Out to Thompson. Takes the three. And another three for Golden State. And when he gets it going, this is what can happen. They need to think about the double team now. Pass to Brock. Back to Holiday. And play stops. The whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. The Warriors have gone seven of nine from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Curry is inside, guarded by Holiday. And the basket by Curry. Curry's got the lead up to eight now for the Warriors. For Boston, they've gotten into a pretty good groove going six of ten here in the final quarter on the wing ground. Warriors with the rebound. Thompson's got rebound number five here tonight. Buries it down low. And now a 10-point Warrior lead. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Over to the wing. Horford kicks to Holland. And the foul on Drew Howard. That's foul number two for him. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Warriors leading by ten. Now here's Curry. Out to Thompson. It's stolen by Brown. Over Thompson. And Thompson sends it back. Clay showing some signs that time of that prime time defense he can bring. The time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Shooting for Golden State. Stephen Curry taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Brent, with the way shooting has evolved, do you think they might move the three-point line further out at some point? I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon, but I have heard some great ideas, and who knows? He's perfect from the line this time. Celtics trail by 12. Now, timeout called by Boston. 
Fine. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Clay Thompson. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Coming into this game, he had been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin. Well, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for the guys during the timeout, and he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive, and you've got to battle to get back in the step. See if that pep talk got him going, guys. Okay, David, thanks. Kaminga kicks to Curry. Kuminga with it. Outside Curry. Five to shoot. Here's Moody. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his seventh assist here tonight. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find him. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Out to the right wing. Round the pass to Holiday. He kicks it to Horford. needs to get off a shot. The three from Tatum. That's a basket. He is eighth from the field. Eight of 14. A leap from deep. Tatum joined the league as a fantastic three-point shooter. Didn't have to add that to his game. Curry against Holiday. Curry passes to Thompson. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Curry against Brown. The kick out to Tatum. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. At one point, they led by 16. Moody the pass to Green. He feeds it to Thompson. And they pick up two. Thompson's got 31. And the defense better find a way to get to Clay Thompson and locate him early. Pass to Horford. Back to Holiday. Tatum on the wing. And the Celtics hit again from deep. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Pass to Green. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Celtics trailed by 12. 17 foot shot on the way. And again, it's Boston converted. And how about the decision-making by Tatum there? I mean, fantastic at just having a feel for what the defense is going to do and then creating the space there for the jump. Green against Porzingis. Outside Curry. Launches a three. A shot off that time. Boston's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. The feet to Tatum. 
And at this point, just sort of running through the paces as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Warriors. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but, you know, they had to weather a few storms along the way, but that's all part of the story. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And so this is going to end up as victory number 24 on the year. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for Clay Thompson. It was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they did. At the line for your Celtics, Jason Tatum. At the line for two. And that one falls for Tatum. And so Tatum nails them both. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. 11-point game. Outside Robinson. Here's Sharich. Tillman grabs the miss. Here's Mikhailu. Going inside over Robinson. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. That's this was a very game. strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll contest. feel very good about. Please. And let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge.